three. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Uncle Floyd's New Jersey. It's actually your New Jersey when you watch this. We're in Hackensack, New Jersey. The uh, well, I guess it's the capital city of Bergen County. That's where the county seat is. But we're here on Main Street. And we're going to take a little walk in town and see what's going on. In beautiful Hackensack, New Jersey. Just a, about a five-minute car ride west of the George Washington Bridge and on the Hackensack River, which, of course, is not the original name. That was called the Second River. They called it the Second River, meaning that the Hudson River, when the Hudson River was called the First River, Hackensack was called the Second River. Anyway, we'll move along here and see what we can see in town, meet some people from Hackensack. Here is a hardworking man. I remember somebody else reading her, her text mail or whatever it is. Hello, how, welcome to Hackensack. How are you? Okay, that's the end of that. Let me see this. Excuse me, sir. Hey, uh, excuse me, can I ask you a question? You work for Hackensack? Oh, oh. I'm, I'm looking for some interesting people to talk to, who could, somebody who could tell me something about Hackensack. You don't know anything about Hackensack? I lost a $50 bill over here. You didn't happen to find it, did you? You know, well, you don't have to. I saw, a, I lost, a dropped a $50 bill over here. I was wondering if you saw it. You didn't see it? Nope. Nothing to... F no, no, sir. What about... All right, have a nice day, my friend. <laughs> this, uh, where do... We, oh, look at this. Here we are. 303 Main Street in Hackensack, where they collect tables. This is a store that collects tables. I wonder what kind of tables they have in here. Should we go in and say hello? Let's go. Collect tables. Hello? Hello, Uncle Floyd here. I see you collect tables here. Come on out. I want to show you your sign out front. I collect tables? Well, that's what it says. Really? <laughs> Introduce yourself. You're the owner here. Yes, Craig, Craig Stepneski. All right, Craig. Now, now, I just want to, I'm not being a wise guy, but your sign says you collect tables. Let me see. Really? Yes, I know what I want to do this. We're going to do, I come into this, I'm going to, I'm going to show you this. Look at this. No, no, you're this way. Oh. Collect tables. <laughs> do you, how many tables do you have in here? <laughs> I've got a couple. I've got three or four tables in here. Do you realize just, that spelled, uh, uh, that's what it says? Collect no, no, seriously. I spelled I'm not that. not being a wise guy. No, back, way back when, there was a label called collectibles, and they spelled it that way. And I went after that because I had so many of their labels in the store. And I figured, well, how many people are going to call me out on this? I did. It took 30 years for somebody to call me out on this. I put that side up in 92. Yeah, but isn't it collectible with an I? Collectible. Yeah. It should it, be C-O-L-L-E-C-T-I-B-L-E. -L -L -E. Yes, it would be. <laughs> Nobody's brought that to your attention? Nobody brought that to my attention. Actually, I have a sign in the back that's got it spelled right. I figured, well, I got a balance going on between the, the front and the back. The Chamber of Commerce never said anything? Nobody said the anything. The mayor, the councilman? No. When I opened the store on this side of the street, the mayor was here. Didn't even mention it. When did you open this wonderful... We're going to go in here. You're going to see something now that the Smithsonian Institute does not have. Go well, we, we opened on this side of the street in 1992. We were on that side of the street where Hackensack Wireless is. Yeah. Uh, that started in 65. Uh, oh. I wasn't here then. No, no. No, I started in 74 as a child. Okay, but I'm di I'm a record collector. I know you have how many records, roughly? About a half a million. Half a million, right here in the, under this roof. Right under the roof. Come on, let's go take a look. We're going to see. I love records. This is one of my favorite. Not only records, but all kinds of. Oh, look at all these pictures of famous people here. Oh gosh, look at that. Randante. Yeah. Oh my God, you got. Um, Pete Di Lorenzo, the comic. Everybody knows you Pete. You know Pete Di Lorenzo? Of course I know Pete. Oh, it's, gosh. You know, when you're here long enough, you get to meet everybody. What are these, these silver and gold? Uh, obviously painted, that's not real silver, real gold. Those 45s up there. I uh, know, that was spray painted. Why did you do that? Just for de decorative purposes? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. When I, when I moved in here, we, you know, the walls were white. I needed color. I, I yeah. put in color. I put in those things. Put in speakers in the ceiling so it plays music everywhere you go in the store. But here we have depression error glass. Am I not correct on that? Is that depression error? Yes. yes, it depresses me every day. 
well, when I look it. at it, because nobody really buys my depression glass. Well, they came in that kind of a, I want to call that pink or peach, but they made them in blue as well and red. I only have pink. Well, but they do have others. Uh, you've seen them. That's yeah. very collectible. They are. They are. And I'm, I've been hoping for somebody to come in to collect them. Well, me. maybe someone will see this now. What's in the trunk here? Anything valuable? Or? Uh, classical records. Oh, cl we can close that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and here you have a... a, a what do you, how do you explain this? These are Hummel, right? Well, we have some uh, Goebel Hummels here. We have this cat. This cat was... Uh, made by somebody and it's like um art i think the cat is wonderful we just got that recently handmade another one it's one a handmade kind. cat yeah who's that green head is that some kind of sea a monster or? that's a um remember the thing that used to go woo over oh, halloween yeah if, yeah. You, if you stick your hand near it when you turn it on it it, it goes like that well, a theremin it's, a it's theremin. actually a theremin and you got a pair of boots over there as well Oh yeah. my God, a lava lamp. Look at that lava lamp. Is it, does it still work? Yeah, that's an original lava lamp from the 60s. And what's the story on that odd bottle there? The odd bottle uh, that's great. has no story. It does have some original dust on it, though. Well, that's good. That's, that's vintage good. dust. Well, we're going to look. I see you have all your 45 holders. Do people collect, are they filled with 45s or are they just uh, selling? No, no, but people do buy those. Really? Yeah. They're, they're not expensive, but, I mean, people do like they'll they'll just take uh, their Louis Prima records. And just put them in like and that. just put them together like that, you know. What is this, as we walk around and look around here, is, so many hobbies are vanishing and disappearing. They've lost their young flank of collectors. Uh, I know stamp collectors are in dire need of new stamp collectors. There's very few young 14-year-olds who collect stamps. Baseball cards uh, killed itself almost with overproducing. Overproducing, yeah. Overproducing. I mean, you can go to a, a junk shop and buy a baseball. Every card from 19, I think, 72 on is worth nothing. Well, uh, pretty much. Basically from 1980 on. From 1980 yeah. on? Yeah. But why has records survived? Well, records uh, survived because they're music, and everybody loves music. I mean... And not to mention, nowadays, with vinyl coming back, you get a lot more younger people in the store, which amazes the heck out of me when I see somebody 14 years old coming in to buy a um, Jimi Hendrix record. And they know the quality's better than on a, on a if they get it off the... Uh... You know, the quality is not necessarily better, but it's different. And it, it, if anything recorded previous to 1985, when the CD was made, mm -hmm. sounds better on vinyl only because it was made to be on vinyl. When the person recorded it, they recorded it analog, mm -hmm. and vinyl is an analog. Who were some of the famous people? Did the Beatles come in here themselves and give you that? Uh, no, no, I met Klaus Vorman at a, um, at a show. He actually is the one that drew that picture, so I thought it would be nice to put that, and Frank Sinatra has not been in here yet. Is either. that a, the Aragon Ballroom back there? Uh, that, that photograph? That would be, yes. The Aragon in Los Angeles? Uh, no, I think that's Chicago or Oh, Detroit. there was a couple, few Aragons. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was Chicago. Uh, I see. I love this display you have here, all the colored vinyl and an Edison cylinder. Yeah. Is that a two-minute or a four-minute, do you know? I really don't know because it's cracked, but I keep it in for ambiance sake, just yeah. like I keep the eight tracks for ambiance because, really, there's not a big yeah. marker for eight tracks anymore. And what's this here? What do you have? What is this? Those are the drinks I drank, and I thought the bottles were really cool. <laughs> yes. And again, we've got the vintage dust. Well, that gives it authenticity. Exactly. And you you know how long it's been sitting there. This amazes me. This, uh, is this just a promotion piece? What in the world is that record so big there? <laughs> it's a promotion piece. There's no record player that'll play that record uh, on Earth. Not even a transcription machine is going to play that. And I don't think those grooves actually have any music on them. Did you ever hear of Uncle Floyd? Uncle Floyd. I love Uncle Floyd. Yeah? That would be you. Did you ever sell any of his old records? Oh, sure. Are they collectible? Yes, they are. Oh, how many you need? <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, there's only 12 guys that collect them, but yeah, they all enough. have each and every one of them. That's but. enough. I love this. I see this. you got to excuse me. i got to get this over here. Uh, look at this. Now, this is what we would call, as a record collector, a, a uh, someone who collects records, number one. Someone who's into clown collecting, and then you have the circus people. So you've got three, exactly. a three-tier. It's, it's a tri-collectible, and uh, I actually got that from a fella who know who, you know, was worked at the circus and collected just circus yeah. records. 
I ended up with this many circus records. Wow. Yeah. Well, Emmett Kelly's Mer collecting. Merle Evans. Uh, Merle Evans, a trumpet he's, player, the band leader. He signed a lot of them. Yeah. So, yeah, and he died a long time ago, so that oh, was yeah. a cool buy. This, I don't want to put that. I'm going to just put this here for now. Okay. Uh, but uh, who does? Hey, Uncle Floyd, what's going on? Huh? We did your show about so many years ago, and we turned around and sold over a million records. This is a good friend of mine right here. We're from Young and Company. We just did this thing. I, I'm looking terrible. That's why I'm standing over here. No, you look fine. Uh, but... but we did your show again. You had us on it some years back. When I seen you out there, I said, whoa, wait a minute. So I made a U-turn well, come back around. But this is a good friend of mine right here. We have a new single out, uh, Young and Company, Send Chills. It's on Magic Track Records. I gave him my card. And we just want to thank you for that, you know. How, where are you from originally? Uh, I'm from... Uh, from the oranges, I live here in Hackensack now. But my brother-in-law is JT from Corner Gang, which lives. Oh. Well, he was from here. Wow. And uh, so there's a whole bunch of us. But uh, I've actually, matter of fact, when I did my single, I brought it here to him because I needed something to play it on. He played it for me. He said it's perfect. So we're actually selling out across seas and everything. And a good friend of mine. But I just want to stop by real quick and say hello. Let me. Do you come from musical people? Another yes, we do. Okay. I yes, want to hear about do. that. Okay, we came from a group called Slave. Uh, you actually had us on a long time ago, and actually had, uh, what originated from that was Young and Company, which actually we sold over a million records. I like what you're doing to me. He said he sold a ton of those. You can ask the young man right there. And uh, we just actually done a lot of stuff. We just had some of our tracks straight out of Compton, uh, the movie. Uh, we had it on Martin Lawrence, Talking Dirty After Dark, um, uh, The Lifestyle of uh, Call Girl in England. Uh, as queer as folks, I've, so we've just been doing a lot of stuff. Well, yeah. now you've been on my show. You've seen me play the piano. How, exactly. how would you rate me as a musician? I'd say you're a top. We want to get you on a couple of our tracks. I'm ready. All right, then. But look, <laughs> I actually came by, and I seen you, and I just wanted to holler at you guys real nice quick, to, you know. Thank you. And, uh, hey, you're still doing your thing. You still look the same. Well, um, <laughs> I want to get on your recipe, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Stay out of the sun and drink a lot of booze. That sounds good to me, then. Okay. That'll work. Be well, my friend. Okay, then. Thanks a lot. Okay. We really appreciate everything. Right. I just want to holler at you real okay. quick. Okay. All right, okay. good. Okay, goodbye. Well, you never know who comes in here. A lot actually, of me actually beer and potato chips. I think is the That's longevity it. thing to do. This capital is this part of the clock? The capital record uh, logo there behind that clock, or that's no, an interesting fr piece. No, a friend of mine just painted that on the wall when I was painting oh. the store. We said, "Well, we have an empty space of wall. Let me paint something," and, and they painted the um, capital logo. So, so you've got like a half a million records here. You've got uh, all kinds of memorabilia besides records. Can we just come down this way a little bit? Sure. Come on down. Are there people who just collect 45s or just collect... Yes. What about the 78s, the 78 RPM shellac records? Are they of any value any longer? Most or? of them, no. Yeah. It's, it's a, uh, what would you say, about 5%, 10% mm. are really highly collectible. You know, early jazz, rock and roll, like the doo-wop and stuff. Um, but uh, novelty records, they're still uh, well, you know, somewhat. You know, no, I picked up a batch the other day. I listened to them. I enjoyed the heck out of them. But uh, selling them, no, it's not going to really move. Hmm. I, I know you have a lot of seventy eight. Oh yeah, too many. But uh, I love them. I don't know what it is. It's well, uh, there's it's something just... fun about you know putting on a record, watching it spin at that speed, yeah. and you know just checking it out, especially something from bygone era. Do you think record collectors are born that way? There, there's a lot of record collectors. We can't stop collecting. What, I, I, I'll tell you how. When I was, uh, I guess, two years old, my mother put me in the high chair, and I took the dish and turned it upside down and took the fork and made it into the arm, and I tried to spin the dish like a record. Did I, it work? And it didn't. It came out. <laughs> but, but it was the beginning of an addiction to collecting records, and my oh. mother would tell that. To, I think part of it's hoarding. I, I think people, you know, that hoard things like to collect records just to add to the hoarding. But thing. there's a lot of collectors believe you get some kind of karma from an old record that the, you you feel something comes from life. In other words, you if you if you take your old your grandparents' records, you never throw them out. You feel their presence sometimes. Did you ever hear? I, I've that actually gets a deep, I've but, actually heard that. And, yeah. and when you buy a used record, you feel like the person that had. Mm -hmm. owned it previously yeah you, you know you could feel something about their life so there's all these dimensions to record collecting do you ever have pain in the neck customers and just stay all day and never find what they're looking for yes yes that happens it, it, it's it happens in every record store across the country it just doesn't happen here and what about people who want to sell you records are they welcome in here do they you talk to them totally welcome i buy records all the time 
you know, just because you always want fresh stuff. You have a lot of regular customers, and they want to see something new every week, and so I am forever buying records. What is the most common? I think I have the answer, but I'm going to ask you, uh, Craig, as a record dealer and, and man in business, what do you uh, think is the easiest, the, the most common record to find? It's a 78, by the way. The 1941. Most... Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know what White we... Christmas, Bing Crosby. Well, they sold a lot of those. That's why you're going to find a lot of them. They but sold that actually, I, million. I swear, there's more people have Montevani in their collection than oh. I ever could use Montevani. I actually had a party one time just throwing Montevani records out just yeah. because I was here probably 25 years at the time. No one ever bought a Montevani record. So I'm thinking, why am I wasting space on this guy? Montevani was, a, was an Italian family. They moved to London. They lived on Greek Street with the uh, Melacrino family. It was the Little Italy of, and they were stuck there during uh, the war. And they just were musicians, and they worked. And Primo Scala was from that neighborhood. A lot of Italian, oh. British uh, singers and, and entertainers. I was always curious to know the draw to Montevani. I mean, all right, granted, he kind of invented elevator music back in the. You it know, was a time the when the father of the family would buy a record like that, bring it home, have a cocktail in a chair in the living room, TV wouldn't be on, and listen to that kind of stuff. Ray Conniff right. and, uh, and even Lawrence Welk to a degree. But Esquivel. Mont Montavani, um, the, the strings, all those oh, living Melancrino strings. Oh, Melancrino strings, living strings, yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. But it, uh, it always intrigued me. It's like when a new Montavani record would come out, do people run down to the record store and say, i got to have the new Montavani record? Is, I don't think I, I like your explanation a lot better because, yeah. you know, the father would go out and oh, that's yeah. how they'd end up in every collection. We have a comment here from Nick Policastro. Yes, Nick Policastro. I know if you have when Tony went over the top. When, if I have it, yeah. I can sing it for him. Do you know that when Tony goes over the top? No. Do you know what you that means? Me? In World War I, to go over the top meant to go over the trench. And I know the whole song. I used to sing it. Say, you know Tony the barber, what shave and cut of the hair. He say, go, who's his mariuch, and this is what I hear. When Tony goes over the top, he no think of his barber shop. With a rope of spaghetti and the biggest stiletto, he'll knock a whole Germany dead, you bet. When Tony goes over the top, good to buy mom, good to buy pop, good to buy great big Irish cop. When I catch the guys, I tell you no lies, I'm going to cut out his spaghetti. When Tony goes over the top, ba 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 Then it's skank. Oh, great job, great job. 1917. You had to know these songs when I started, because the World War One guy, Guys were in their late 60s at the time, right? And they wanted to hear those songs in bars where I played piano. And good morning, Mr. Zip Zip Zip, with your haircut just as short as mine. But nobody asked for these. Well, everybody's dead who knows that song except for you. If you don't like your Uncle Sammy, if you don't love the red, white, and blue, then go back from where you came, whatever be its name, but don't be ungrateful to me. If you don't love the stars and oh glory, if you don't love the red, white, and blue, then don't act like the cur in the story. Don't bite the hand that's feeding you. And then it goes on and on. These were World War I songs gone forever. Totally I don't think pe forever. people don't come in anymore, well, huh? No, they don't. Now, I got to tell you, the, the, the early material, uh, to me, just really sounds dated. Um, yeah. Because being somebody that I want to hear every record, like I think I've listened to every record in the store at least three seconds of it. Yeah. If I if it intrigues me, I'll listen to more. But um, I really got into that stuff from the teens and you know the tens mm -hmm. just to hear what Billy Murray was singing. Oh, all, great. You know, and 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 I really thought it was it was cool, but uh, dated, really dated. And and a lot of people did the same darn song. It's like there was only ten songs out at the time, and everybody did the same one. But songs carried news. They they were news delivery. All songs originally were they brought the minstrels brought the news of like the wreck of the old ninety seven. That's a news song. They told stories about what happened and, and so on and so forth. But uh, there were a lot of protest songs too, which people forget. I didn't raise my boy to be a soldier. There'd be no wars today if mothers all would say. I didn't raise my son to be a soldier. And then there was anti-war songs were, were very prolific. World War One. Oh, World War One, World War Two. Well, I know World War Two. If they II, feel but... like a war on some foreign shore, let them keep it over there. And everybody would burst into applause. I like that. Yeah, but you don't hear that anymore. But anyway, let's keep going around here. I could make a it's comeback some... that last one. You think one. so? I think so. Oh, gosh. Glenn Miller, now, look at this. He had well, the best band. Uh, and here you have these 45s of Glenn Miller. Of course, he disappeared, you know the story, in World War II. They never found him. He's not they never, dead. They never found him. His, he was in the Air Force, and his plane uh, disappeared flying over the English Channel. They still don't know. They never found anything. But uh, he's a patriot, a great American. Well, I think and, if he was alive, he'd be dead. 
<laughs> you know, just saying. What about this? Look at this Sinatra. I know there's Sinatra people. Look at that. That's That's got to be a collect Sinatra on uh, Columbia here. Yeah, it's yeah. a really nice record. And uh, the graphics are really cool. Yeah. You know, things like They're that. They're artistically made. I mean, the, the whole cover. Yeah. yeah, nowadays, you download stuff. You never see a cover. You never see liner notes. Yeah. You just, it's, it's kind of dull. The newer albums they're coming out with, you do catch some of that. Did you see Bill's picture up on the wall there? He's talking, the you're talking about Bill Smith? Bill Smith, yeah, Where the founder of the store, right next to Sammy K. Oh, my, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I see it right there. Well, some people may not know this, but I used to supply records, and I met you when, how old were you when? Uh, 14. You were, and what was I, maybe, 15? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Bill Smith was a big record dealer and collector, and he had a store called uh, the Hackensack Record King, right? Yes. And you worked there as a kid? Exactly. And he, learned under he his hired tutelage? me in 74, and that's why I know, you know, about the big bands and stuff. He taught me all that stuff, and that's where he actually sang with Sammy Kay. Yeah. And that's why I put Sammy Kay next to him. He lived but, in New Milford. Oh, Bill, yeah. 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 He Off passed the away somewhere in the early 2000s. Yeah. He yeah. would, uh, I was called, uh, in record collectors, I was called a grunt. That means a, a young guy that'll get it right in a battlefield, get on his knees and go through records in Salvation Army stores and bins. Oh, and, you know, I and, heard about you. Yeah. yeah. And I'd dig out stuff and bring it to him. And you were the youngest member of his 78 record collecting club, right. which he had like over a thousand people in and yeah. how old were you um, maybe 13 14 when i first no because i no no then i had to be 17 because i had my car i had a car uh -huh. and i went around driving but i used to take buses and go on my bicycle and go pick up records yeah i have the cards from you actually signed a card when you were like 13 yeah. and the, the the signature is so childish i, I loved it I well, said, we call wow. it cursive now. They can't even you, write well, like Well, no, that. they don't teach they cursive don't teach anymore. That anymore. No. It looks Arabic to children who uh, never... You know what got to me is the clock. They're taking the clocks out of school and they're putting digital clocks up. Yeah. Why don't they, they just teach... How long does it take to say the little hands over here and the big hands over there? It's pretty easy. They say... They laugh if I say, I'll pick you up at quarter after 12. Young people will laugh. Oh, <laughs> Quarter after 12, what does that mean? <laughs> exactly. Now, I have a watch, and I'm having coffee with some friends not long ago, and some young boy came up and said, excuse me, <laughs> he's laughing. He says, can I ask you something? I said, what? He goes, what time is it? And, he, and they're all laughing, like, because I wear a watch, which is a, a sign of an old man to well, that generation. No, they don't you carry know, that watches. generation, a lot of them do wear watches, but they don't look at them. Well, they wear them for a look. But when I was their age, we made fun of the older men who took the watch out of the vest pocket, opened it up on a chain, you know, oh, and they looked at yeah, but yeah the, a pocket watch. Well, we're getting we're getting away from records here, but yes, look we at are. the but this is how how deep does this store go all the way here? Oh, yeah, all the way through. Oh, yeah. What about the record sleeves? Are they collectible? I noticed the picture covers. Yeah, the picture covers are. Yeah, well, I mean, for groups that are have a big following, you know, that like the Beatles Ooh. and who made this here. I have to see this picture. Who did? Do, do you know who drew that? Uh, not exactly. No, somebody gave that to me. I just thought it was hysterical. Oh, that's great art. It's got Horton, and yeah. he hears the who. Uh huh. Oh, you got a little. Uh, this is. I just got to come back here and look around. You don't get a Johnny James photograph every day. Do you know Johnny James' real name? What is Johnny? Carmela James? Babo. Oh, she's an Italian. Oh yeah, Tony Bennett's real name. Uh, the, the Benedetto. Right, yeah. Antonio Di Benedetto. Yeah. All right, you're okay. Well, that one is, he is Italian. Oh, yeah. I knew yeah. that one. Look at this little record player. What's the story on this? Uh, that came with oddity. the store. That was already Applebaum's record player, the man who owned the store before Bill. And when he bought the store, the record player was included. That's why I can't sell it. Oh my Not God. to mention, it's like a, a mini listening station. It can only play, we couldn't play an LP though, could it? Oh sure, you just have to move that box out of the way. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. No, it but plays But two LPs. speeds, forty-five and. Yeah. I see. What about needles? If somebody needs needles in the we accessories, have those you have those too. Yeah, needles, belts. Well, listen, we we've got to move along. But this everywhere I look, I just keep seeing more things to ask more questions about. The the plastic, the colored uh, that uh, record. Four Seasons thing yeah. up there. That was actually used uh, on, I think it was 1965 tour. They had that up on stage. That was one of the backdrops to the stage. Wow. Yeah. And what about Superman? You were starting to tell me there was a story oh, this in this town about Superman. Exactly. I think it's 232 Main Street mm -hmm. where, where the large bank building yeah. was. They used that 
as in the introduction to the TV show Superman, when he says, look up in the sky and you see the camera go up a building, that supposedly is the building. Now, I've never verified that, but that story's been going around Hackensack for the last 50 years. Did you ever watch Superman as a kid? Yes, I did. Probably in reruns, because I'm couldn't a little it. younger than you. But I, I would never understood why Lois Lane never figured out that Clark Kent is Superman. I never bought that. It's the glasses. I, no, but the, the, you put on kid, glasses, you don't look like you. We'd sit there and I'd say, what's wrong with her? She can't tell that Superman. <laughs> like Abbott and Costello, Mr. Fields, he had a different... <laughs> he first he had, a, he had a, this story, he had that story, he had this business. Anyway, give a nice plug here for where we are in case we have a record collector out there that's curious about what you do. And The Record King, 303 Main Street, beautiful downtown Hackensack. We're here every day except for Sundays, and we've got a lot of records. So if you're into records, set up on by. And who is this over here, this gold bronze, the, whatever, that, that woman? Is that a, a... She's sitting on a... What is she? I inherit, Magic carpet? I inherited that. <laughs> I just thought it was cool. I don't, I don't know. It looked nice on the well, wall. Anyway. And that's actually an original uh, tiger tail from Meso. Wow. Anyway, we must move along. Uh, we, we really enjoyed oh, your little visit. You, we've, we've got any, any advice where to go in town? We can see something unique in Hackensack? Just anywhere we go, right? I think anywhere you go, you'll find somebody. Well, thank you so much. Did you get a cup of coffee next door? No, yeah, we have it. We, we're going to have it a little later because we have to move along now. I this is, how many guys like you are left with record stores like this across the country? Is there a count on that? Uh, no, not really, but there are a lot of them that just all of a sudden... Come back? Came back, yeah. Oh. A lot of people are opening record stores all over the country. I don't know where they're getting their stock from. Well, but, uh, one other thing, I heard a statistic that nobody could live long enough to hear 1% of the music recorded because there's that vast of a field. In other words, if you sat down today and just started playing one record at a time, you'd never, it'd take 100 years to hear. Well, I've been uh, here 44 years, and I don't think I've heard everything well, that's can't. here. I mean, yeah. it takes a long time, especially, you know, well, when you have so many records. Uh, well, keep up the nice way. But I, know I love music. Hey, and listen, I, have a great day. All right, Craig, thanks so much for giving us a little tour in here. I could stay here for three days, but we must move on. And uh, thanks so much for your hospitality. Oh, any time. Anytime again. you're feeling lonely, anytime you're feeling blue. Is there such a thing as one, one more, the world's uh, rarest record or the most valuable record of all time? Is there such a thing? Uh, you know, they always said it was the uh, five sharp stormy weather yeah. 78 that was cracked and yeah. there was only two of them around. Yeah. But that record is awful. I don't even know why anybody, just because it was rare. You know, it's not the best version of Stormy Weather ever. No, I gotta but, tell you, but it's it's rare. And that's one I, of them. I would suspect that's one of the rarest ones. Yeah. But I mean, anytime you get like, say, you had a beetle acetate, mm -hmm. that's going to be really rare because there's only like one or two of them. Yeah. You know, anytime there's only one or two of something. Well, we we have to. How move about on. a Robert Johnson seventy-eight? Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson, the piano player. Uh, no, blues. The blues singer. The blues singer. Oh. Yeah, those things are rare than hen's teeth. They were sold down the south. People played crap out of them. Can yeah. you say crap? I can say crap. You can say. Okay, they played the crap out of them. They and wore them out. They, they wore them out, and I mean, yeah. you know, to get one in good condition is like impossible. I know a lot of the kitty records are very in bad because bad kids used to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwich and played a record and. What a mess. I think if I collect kitty records, that would be the ultimate to get one mint. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, someday. But so, the, thank you, Craig. Thanks for letting right. us in. Take care, We've got to go back out to work, okay? All right. Have fun. And this is nice, too. A squashed water bottle. You don't see things like this just anywhere you go. That's uh, Davy Jones' water bottle. Oh. From the monkeys. What happened to it? I don't know. I just put it up there and it turned into that. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go see if we find somebody on the street here. Well, it would take a whole day just to go through some of these records. Let's see who's around on Main Street. Nobody up this way. Oh, we missed some people down there, but we'll take a little walk and maybe run into some, some people who have some comments about Hackensack, New Jersey, which is a nice little town here. See, here we have a barber shop. And there come two gentlemen are walking up towards us. I bet they'll have something to tell me about Hackensack. 
Hello, my friends. Hello, friends. How are you? Have a good day. Okay, how are you? All right? Good. What's the matter? Okay. No, we're just looking for something to do in town. What's up with this? What's up with this? We're on, it's Uncle Floyd's New Jersey. Oh, okay. What do you think, I'm with the feds? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. No, 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 we're just looking for some action in town. What's going on I here? would go down another block. <laughs> There's an Aldi. Okay. Yeah. The supermarket. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. There's nobody on that side of the street. It's, we've, we're noticing it's hard to find people in these towns any longer. I don't know if that's a sign of progress or what, what's going on. But as you can see, most streets are desolate, very desolate. I mean, there's very few people walking around. We see two coming up the road and that's it. One across the street and that's it. What's the... Hello. Anybody want to say hello? We're doing a story on Hackensack. Oh, this young man, this is your big break. Come on, I, I got to find out what's going on in town. Are you the owner? No, no. I'm not. Come on, this might be your big break. You could be a movie star. How are you? How are you? Do you know who Uncle Floyd is? I don't. What about you? Did you ever hear of Uncle Floyd? I do not know. You don't never heard of him? Oh, no. He's a big star. He walks around and talks to people. He wears a plaid jacket and a funny little hat. <laughs> nice to meet you. So what do you, what do you guys do? What can you tell me about Hackensack? Uh, I love this place. I actually grew up around here. Yeah? My dad has a couple of stores around here. Oh. People are very friendly. I love this place. Yeah. Good. <laughs> That's a good, you're a good promoter. What do you just have to say about Hackensack? It's a great town, honestly. I've been his friend for a while. I've been coming here for a long time. I actually live in Westwood, not too far from here. Uh -huh. Do you know what the name Hackensack means by any chance? No. It was named after two Dutchmen who, you know, this was part of New Amsterdam. Hack and Schenk were the two gentlemen. Mm. And they came to deforest. They took all the cy uh, cypress trees out of the meadowlands. They load them up and brought them back to Holland. Thus came the name Hack and Schenk became Hack and Sack over the years. Wow. Did you know that? No. Well, I just made it up. <laughs> okay, have a nice day. What hey, do you do? You, you run a business here? Yeah, yeah, is right this, right across the street. What is your place across the street? Uh, so the, the red one over there said Bistro Express. Oh. Uh, and then the one that's orange, Hackensack Wireless as well. Oh. Yeah. Where are you from? Where are your people from originally? Uh, Colombia. Colombia. Yeah. And you? Mexico. Mexico. We say in Italian, Mexico, but me Mexico. <laughs> and Colombia, that's named after Cristoforo Colombo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, be well, my friend. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Take care. Oh, you gotta water these plants, though. This is terrible. It's terrible. This is not. This is. Hello, my friends. Would you like to say hello? No. no? Okay. That's your big chance. Uh, I'm gonna cross the street here. It's hard to find someone, and when you do, they're running. This one is jogging. We have. Hi. How are you, my friend? Are you jogging? Are you busy? Oh, you gotta keep going, huh? Just my luck. Again, you see evidence of the new life coming to these towns. They're building a monstrosity of a building down there. You can see the basic uh, first floor, and I don't know, must be a high rise apartment coming into town. Timothy Dunley wants to comment. He says you have to go to Jerry's supermarket. Italian. I have no idea where it is. Maybe it's on our way here. Maybe it's on the way. If it's in within walking distance, we will, because Jerry is my father's name. Was my father's name, Gerolimo in Italian. But uh, Jerry will do for now. Hello, my friend. We're doing a survey about Hackensack. What can you tell us about Hackensack? It's a good city. It's, it's a, a good, good place city. To you, yeah. It's a beautiful day here. Yeah. What do you? Are you a student? You, no, I'm working here. You work here? Yeah. And uh, what do you do? I repair computers and cell phones. Oh, art with computer and cell. You think there's a future in computers? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I think it's a fad. You're a young man. You better find something else, don't you think? Yeah, I think so too, but for now it's good. Oh, you're right. Good <laughs> luck to you. Okay, thank All you. All right, bye bye. Jerry's Italian Food Center. I'd love to go in there. Probably along there somewhere. Isn't it? Would you like to say hello, my friend? Okay. All right. Oh, here she comes. Miss Hackensack, right here. Hello, my dear. <laughs> Do you know who I am? You never heard of Uncle Floyd? Yes, I have. <laughs> well, then, well, I just called you Miss Hackensack. You are... Miss Hackensack. Well, what do you, you want to be, Miss Passe? 
No, I used to live here many years ago, but now I'm uh. in Garfield. Oh, you're in Garfield. Oh, Miss Garfield. <laughs> Miss Garfield, anyway, you seem like a very happy, upbeat person. What kind, what do you do? Well, I'm a nurse assistant at Hackensack Medical Center. God bless you. We need more nurses, and that they never get enough credit, I believe. Am I right on that? Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're I, right. <laughs> I, no, seriously, did you always want to be a nurse? Or? Yes, I did. But you guys do all the... You know, I care for people. I love being with people. I can see that. I sense that right away. And, and, and you do all the work, and the doctor gets the big money. Hello. <laughs> you agree with me? I agree with you. Because I was an M.E., M E, you know what yeah, that means? Medical. No, no, me, me, M E, me, me. 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 <laughs> How long have you been me. a nurse? A while? Yeah, I've, you... I've been to Hackensack for 23 years, and I worked at a nursing home, oh, Mother's Hall, sweet. for 17. So you see people at their lowest point in many cases, right? And exactly. And you have to be able to deal with all that and grouchiness sometimes. Or right. how do you how do you have the temperament to do that? When you have to love people, ah. you have to be able to be a caring soul for yeah. others. Do any of the patients ever afterwards thank you like a month later or a year oh, later? Oh yeah, oh yeah, they send they, us different um, they remember uh, you. letters and things and yeah. to give us credit oh, for what we do. Well, nice seeing you. You're very uplifting, good. Thank you. thank you. All right, look at this place here. Look at this pile of lamps and, and oh, we gotta see if Marissa we can. just said that uh, she got look. some hats like yours at the Route 1 flea market. Oh yeah? They have hats like that. I don't think anymore. I don't think Route 1 flea market. Look at all of this. Please, we got to look at this place. Oh, we got to go in there. Look at this. We got to go in here. Marissa, Route 1 flea market. We got to go. Oh, here it is. No, we're not doing so. Come over here. We're looking for. This looks like a very interesting business. This is Uncle Floyd's New Jersey. Of course it's Uncle Floyd. You know me? I know you. Who doesn't know you? <laughs> what? What? Are hey, you the owner? My pleasure to know you. Are you the you owner here? No, no, oh. no, no, no. I'm a customer. What did you come in here for? I, I come to uh, purchase this here from um, a chandelier of yes, some kind. Yes, yes, yes. Well, watch out! That thing's gonna hit you in the face. To, oh, I'll be fine. You know, we used to have these made out of string years ago as kids, and as we got older, our grandparents would cut the string and make it shorter and shorter. Oh, you okay. could reach anything. Though. Oh, I'll say. <laughs> How tall are you? Six four. Six four. Six four. Ah, you play sports? I play sports. You did a lot of uh, uh, fundraising for our PBA. Oh. And uh, you know, local nine, and you know, we had you're your five beef. You yeah, you're here in Arkansas. Oh. oh, good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You came to our beef steaks. Yes, and I always You're tell great, them, as always. Well, listen, I always tell the police, I wasted my life. I should have been an undercover cop. And somebody said to me, a cop says, How do you, why do you say such a thing like that? I said, why? I was on TV 24 years and nobody That's saw me. Right. I did. <laughs> I did. You did? Are you I still active? Did. You still? Uh, no, I have retired. I enjoy yeah, you. You yeah, guys earned yeah, every yeah. nickel you got coming to you. Yeah, Put thank your you, life thank on you. the line for yeah. people. And, and you are the owner here? No, I just work here. Oh, you work here? Yes, I've been here 30 years working. But how do you know where everything is? Look at this place. Why you need? I get it for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> this, this amazes me. What is that conglomeration of sockets or what? Yes, all, the sockets. What is that? It looks like a dish of spaghetti or something. Yes, that's what people say. That's just look you, like spaghetti. You can find something in there? Whatever you need, I find it All for these you. boxes, you know, yes, everything? Yes, sir. And whatever I don't have, you don't need it. Whatever you don't have is not needed. Yes. That's a slogan to be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, nice seeing, seeing you. Hey, so, give us, what is the name of the place here? Most Lighting. Most Lighting? Yes. Okay. And you be well, enjoy your retirement. Yes, I, I'm You're a young boy. man, though. Yeah, yeah. You're a young man. You, will you put your 20 years in or whatever? 25 years in. 25 years. 25, yes. Did you ever yes, pull yes. me over? No, no, no. There's no need for you, Uncle Floyd. No, but <laughs> there's no I got to tell you one quick story because cops and law enforcement have a lot of humor in them. Uh -huh. I think they have to have humor you to have survive. To have it. You have so to have it. years ago on Route 80, a cop pulled me over. He says, You okay? I says, Yeah. He says, Well, I noticed you're going a little fast. Slow down. I says, No problem, officer. I'll slow down. And he says, hey, are you Uncle Floyd? I says, yes. He says, can I get your autograph? So I gave him an autograph. And as he's walking back to his patrol car, I said, excuse me, officer, I get $10 for my autograph. He, <laughs> he turns around. He says, if you get mine, you're going to pay $75. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> he shot me down. Boom. <laughs> hey, good luck. OK, guys, be well. Yes, I'm pleasure sorry. seeing you. I hope we didn't interrupt your. Yeah, no, no, no. OK. Thank All right. Have a good day. I'll put a little light on the subject. How are you, my friend? Would you like to talk to me? 
Would you like to talk to me? Uh, no. Well, she laughed anyway. <laughs> Here come three people. Wow, this is like a, a mob of people in this town today. And the time we're doing this is, uh, what? what is it, 1240-ish around, you know? So we thought there'd be more people out, but we're having a hard time in New Jersey finding people on the street in these kind of towns. It's maybe, I don't know what that means, but it's just so, so hard to find people. Last time we walked around in Bloomfield, we had, we had entire streets just vacant. But anyway, here we are. And then again, you have the new town behind us, right across the street, they're putting all that construction. So it shows you life is coming. How are you people? Hi. How's everybody? Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Como están? Como está usted? Muy bien. Muy bien, gracias. Sí, tú? Gracias. Yo, yo soy cubano. Yo, boliviana. Colombiano. Boliviana. Oh, colombiano. Boliviana. Come? Boliviano. Boliviano. ¿A dónde es? De Cochabamba, Cochabamba. Po, po, Colombia. No, no, no. No, Colom Colombia. Bolivia. Bolivia. Mo oh, Bolivia. Oh, sí. oh boliviano. Boliviano. Oh, yo comprendo, yo comprendo. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah, eso es verdad, amigo. De Cochabamba. Ay, centro. comprendo, comprendo, sí, comprendo. Sí. La Paz, oh. Bolivia. Yes, I know. Sí. They have over there, uh, they have the gondola boats, right? Sí. The sí, gondola. Sí, sí. No, la gondola es en Italia. No, son micros, igual y hay. Sí. Claro. Es el de verdad. Sí. Oh. Ah, ¿Usted es cubano? Anyway. ¿Usted es cubano? Uh, no, no, I make a joke. Yo soy italiano. Ah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, italiano americano. Qué bien. Ah, mira, hay que decir. How do you like it? ¿Te gusta en América? Muy, muy lindo. Muy lindo, very nice. And you too? Yes. Are oh, you born here? Yes. I can tell. But you speak Spanish? Yes. Okay. And you're from, and, and you, do you like this country? Can you say something nice about the, what would you say about this country that you like? Imaniki. Huh? Quechua. Imaniki. No. Imaniki. Mantequilla. No, Mantequilla. No, Quechua. ¿Qué dices? Quechua. ¿Qué dices? No, que te está hablando en Quechua, que oh. es un idioma de Bolivia. O idioma de Bolivia, comprendo. Ok, ok. Lo voy a decir a dialecto nuestro. Uh, anyway, yeah. okay. Yeah. Have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Thank you. All right, bye bye. Okay. What goes on in here? What is this? Plans include taxes and fees. I don't know. Well, this is one of those phone places. How are you, my dear? Well, that's all right. Block after block of nothing. What is this guy doing? I don't know. It's beeping. <laughs> well, maybe we'll wait here and the cops will come and we'll have somebody to talk to. No, it is beeping. It's a uniform, but the store is vacant. Anyway, we'll see. Hello, my friends. Here we go, the store. You two built two places in a row for rent right there. Yeah. It's everywhere you go this now. One. This paper one, too. On I wonder they used to make paper bags in here. This was a paper bag manufacturer. Look at this sign. Oh, look at this. Snoo. Snoo. No. <laughs> Sunrise or rental. Prox, Prox. The sign is terrible. Maybe they'll come out and... Hello. Hello, my friend. Hello. Hola. We are here to see the sign out front. The sign is descompuesto. What? Es descompuesto. Hablo español. No, no. The sign is all crooked. I'll show you what I mean. We're from the TV. We just want to know. You don't speak Spanish. No, no, no. Why? What? The, look, look, look at the. It's. Who did that? What is this? The U is up. Oh. What? Okay, the? Huh? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> did that. Why would they do that? I don't know. That means bad luck. The horseshoe upside down. Right. Yes, you got to fix it. You better bring the boss out here. Should we wait? No, no, don't wait. No, that's a very bad thing. Nobody does that. That's bad luck. If a horseshoe is upside down. Look at this. What is this place? Passport immigration. Let's see. Maybe they'll come out and say. Hello. <laughs> There's nobody on the street. There's nobody in the... Nobody here? Hello. Well, maybe I'll just sit down and take a rest on one of these chairs. How are you, my friend? 
Good, we're doing a little story on Hackensack. We're looking for information. Okay, you seem to have a beautiful place here. Thank you, I appreciate it. We are from uh, the Uncle Floyd's New Jersey show. You know who Uncle Floyd is? No? You heard of him? Are you the owner here? Yeah. Well, come on over quick. We just want to say hello and give a little announcement what you do here. This is your picture frames and yeah, picture Yeah, we have a gallery. We do custom framing. Beautiful. Restoration. We do passport photos and uh -huh. uh, immigration. And where are you from originally? I'm Albanian. Albania? Yes. Uh, Albania e i fratellini d'Italia. Si, capite? Si. Neighbors. Yes. Neighbors. We are best neighbors. <laughs> yes, we have. A, well, my father was from in Italy, many in Calabria, yeah. many Albanian villages, yes, many. Yes, yes. Well, so, hardworking people. Yes. I mean, I was born outside mm -hmm. in Italy. I was uh, never been in Albania, but my parents come from Albania. Oh, so Albanese Italiano. There's a si, lot. Si, see, si. see. That's right. <laughs> anyway, good luck to you. Have a beautiful Thank you place. very much. Okay, okay thank, thank you. Thank you. Take care. Now, they brought the guys out to look at the sign, but then they took off as soon as they saw me come back out. Let me ask him if he knows about this. Do you know that this, this here sign, who did that to put the U upside down? No, That's I not don't. good, is it? Yeah, no. That means bad luck because when the horseshoe is upside down, it's bad luck. I wonder if you knew anything about it. No, I don't You don't care either? I don't know. You really don't? No. Nobody <laughs> seems <laughs> to care but me. All right, I'll let you go. You okay. look like you've got your lunch ready. All right. Can you answer a question for me? No? Look, I wish everybody's on that side. When I walk on this side, everybody walks over there. When I'm over here, they walk there. All right. Oh, I see people. No, they go, they're going to go inside the store, see? Again, as you see, they knocked down the two-story buildings and put these beautiful apartments coming to town. Nobody on this side. We gotta get somebody. Hello, my friend. How are you? To How are you today? <laughs> That's nice. Hello, my friend. We are looking for Hackensack. Do you know where Hackensack is? No. You don't know where Hackensack is? You never heard of it? These guys want to be on TV. Okay. Thank you. We're coming over. Oh, should we have them come on our side? We can walk over there. You guys better be good. We're coming. Yeah, I asked the question. You have to have the answer, though. This is your big moment, my friend. This is called Uncle Floyd's New Jersey. We're on live right now. Yo, We're trying. Uh, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Oh, right. GB? Look at uh, this. What is all these? These are signs, right? We're Young GB. People. You're GB? Yeah, get up, boys. Get up and prosper. You do rap? Yeah. You got a little sample we can do, man? Yeah, you want to hear something? Something, or something you do? You want, you want to hear something you want me to spit right now? Yeah. All I right. say. Spinning nights in the city with my brother, it's a ghost town. Always thought I would be riding in the ghost now. Like a TC song, I need a whole pound. Always lit straight deals for the bros now. Uh -huh. Cop it if it's 25 and I'ma match up. Uh -huh. Your ingredients wrong, so get your batch up. What? I'm a king, no bash, nigga, act tough. Tell Big Buddy with the fuck you make him back up. Damn, that's Wow, good. that's good. Have applause. That's we don't have an too. audience here. Hey. Did you just make that up on the spot? Yeah, or that's off the head. That's off the head. Wow, so yeah, that's like a, a riff, man, that's a, it's steeped in ancient music, you know, yeah. going back to the blues and so uh -huh. on. But you guys do it so fast. And what about yeah. you? You do it too? Yeah, nah, I'm, right I'm, I'm, I'm the manager of them. Oh, you're the smart one. Yeah. <laughs> you collect I'm, the I'm money. The yeah. And what do you do? Come here, young man. You're a singer. singer. Oh, can we hear a little sample of your singing? Would you believe me if I tell you that I wanted you from Jump Street? And I would not never know, but I popped out and you told me. So I made my move, you made just two, and that's when I knew you would be the one to be my wife. You know it's you don't play with me. That's so sophisticated. No extra complications. Just want to take you out. Nothing but conversation. Focus. And I would do whatever to keep you by my side. So let's get comfortable. Beautiful voice. Beautiful. 
Now, who's this man here? You, you look like a oh, they, the, the bodyguard. <laughs> well, I work. I was just at work right here at the building over here. What do you mean, while well, I work? These guys are working right now. They're working, too. They're just using their talent. I got okay. another talent. You're in construction, obviously. Yes. Are you talent. two? Come here. What do you yeah. do? Well, you smoke cigarettes and what else? Oh, I'm an electrician. I'm an electrician. Is he the, oh, you're an electrician. Yeah, we're both electricians. We're both. You guys, you can't mess around with you. It's One exactly. small mistake. The electrician has the most respect what is this of all the craftsmen. That's Seriously. You, uh, you could put a pipe in the wrong place. You could put a window in the wrong place. But the electric you can't fool around with, right? Right. Oh. I got to check you out. What are you on? You're going to check me out. We're here. Let's see who you You're are. You're very interesting. How much views do y'all have right now? Oh, right now we have one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a lot. Thousands and thousands. Bro. You're going to get calls and offers tomorrow. No, you won't get, you won't get a lot more views because you're very comical. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Excuse me, my dear. Are you Miss Hackensack? No. <laughs> We're looking for Miss Hackensack. I don't know where she is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, well, you should be, okay? okay. All right, guys, have hey, a good day. Well, you, all you. I want to say is yeah. follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all of that. GB Young Rico, GB Rico the Great. Guap Boys, Born to Star Records. We all up now. Shout out my shout brother. Shout out to everybody. Wretch. Yeah, shout Retch out to Wretch. Porter. Porter. Yo, go check shout me out. out Fast go money. check me out. The same, same, same thing. Zephaniah the singer. You feel me? Hey, Z tune in. They doing things, man. Tune in. It's a good show. All right, guys. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. See, you got to put more life into your... Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, we'll go down. Yeah, he's going to give you a card. Thank you, you were very good. Hey, look at these people all walking around with cell phones. You're gonna be overnight stars, you mark my word. Yeah. Now, the, now see, she walked across the street. As soon as she saw me, she walks across the street. Now all the people are on that side. Let's see what we have here. Maybe someone will come out here. Hello, my friends. How's everybody? We're from the... We're trying to find out about Hackensack. Can anybody come here and tell us about Hackensack? I'm not from here. Well, that's all right. You can make something up. He says, I'm trying to get out of here. Now there's two, oh, here comes a man who looks like he's knowledgeable about what goes on in town. Hello, sir, I'm Uncle Floyd. We're doing something on, would you like to tell me something about Hackensack that we could possibly, you look like a man who knows, a man of authority. None of the above. That means you are. <laughs> Have a good day. Okay, thank you. Maybe we can get these people over here. Come on, but let's go. Let's go. The heck is she? Is she running away from you? Hello, How are you? A, uh, oh, I saw her running away. Anyway, no luck. Man. Yeah, this over here, another one for rent. What can you tell us about Hackensack? We're doing, no, nothing? Okay. It says it all again, right? Yeah. Across yeah. the street, that brick building's all boarded up. About a and, of the buildings are closed. Yeah, and this one next door to two, this wonderful. The fella, uh, Craig, said that was the Superman building. Yes. This is the Superman building. If you're a Superman fan, you might find this of interest. Look, look in the sky. It's a bird. It's, it's a, a plane. That's it. It would make sense. They were very close to New York City here. Do you think that really was the Superman building? It looks like it. Yeah. Obviously, it's closed down now. I don't know what they're going to do. The only question I have is why were they so excited to see a bird? Over here, this is a street of uh, great concern to many people. Over here is where guys like me had to register for the Vietnam War. Um, it says the Gray Building, but in there they had all the military offices. And when you were 17, you had to report to the draft board. And they didn't take me. 
I didn't wasn't aware of it, but they took they take 85% of the boys who showed up. 15% were put on hold for a national emergency, or they would be called at a later time. But that was a very scary place for a lot of guys back in the late 1960s. The old draft the draft board, and they gave you a physical in there. And, no, they sent you to Newark for the physical. You got on a bus to go to Newark. But this Superman building over here is amazing to me. It's quite an edifice. Um, I guess they're going to turn it into apartments as well. I'm very curious about that. Obviously, on television, it would look much bigger. That's what they said. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, right. it's Superman. Well, why are they so excited about the bird? Well, I understand why they're excited about Superman, but the pl who goes, oh, look, a plane. Who does that? Who says a bird? Look, a David bird. bird says a bird. And there's the place next door for rent. Yeah, it's just so hard to find somebody. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. We're here from the, to do a story about Hackensack. You see here? Would you? No? Okay, have a nice day. We'll see. Oh, gosh, I see a couple of people coming. That's a great sign. I mean, even the birds have left. Like this. There's one bird in 99 cents or more. 99 cents or more. Or more. How are you? We're doing a story about... Well, oh, this guy's going to be good. How are you, my friend? He looks like oh, I got to ask you. You got to say hello here. Hello. Oh, another. He's dressed like you. He's got a bow tie on and everything. Here's a nice place. Can you help us out? We're lost. We're looking for Hackensack. Oh, Hello, gentlemen. How are you today? Oh, I'm glad you have a job. I wish I did. <laughs> Look at this guy. How you doing? Hey, How you doing, on? my hey, friend? I just doing, saw man? you before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably saw each other. Now, where are you working? You're doing comedy? Oh, uh, no, man. I'm an engineer, man. I work at an IT firm. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I got you mixed up with somebody else. Nah, You're cool, very man. interesting. Yeah, what do you do? I'm a Ciscone. It's only two million of us in the world, man. I can I can code a, a Cisco router. I can troubleshoot a network from end, from end to end and... Uh, you know, basically, you know, I'm, I'm a coder. I'm an engineer. My name is uh, William, William McPherson, Cisco Engineer William. You got to check out my YouTube channel. I'm not being sick, but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so basically, Cisco Systems is the backbone of the Internet. Cisco Systems, they make the the, uh, the devices that manufacture the Internet. And uh, I can code those the, those devices. I can... Uh, I can uh, I can engineer those devices. I can. Uh, well, where, where, where did this intelligence come from? Obviously, you must come from mm. parents that are very intelligent or something. Oh yes, yes, I mean, absolutely. Seriously, I'm not being. No, 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 no. I know you're not. You're not. You don't speak hyperbole. Yes, I, I understand this. Uh, well, basically, Hi uh, I used to read a lot as a child, and uh, my mom she used to always take me to a, a bookstore that was down the street. <laughs> Back in the uh, early 90s, it was called uh, War Warm Rabs. Warm Rabs Bookstore Warm at the time. Warm here. Rabs, yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah. at the time. And she always used to uh, fund my education by buying me a whole bunch of books. And uh, I would oh, just sit in my room and just read all day. And uh, my dad, he was, uh, he was a janitor, but his goal was to be a, 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 an accountant. But uh, I guess it never, it never turned out that way. Well, but, uh, you know, he was there. I, had, I came from a stable family, relatively stable. And... Um, you know, I'm, a, I'm an engineer, but you know, life throws life throws curveballs. Exactly. We need more people like you around. Well, thank you, thank you. I appreciate right, that you'll a lot. Be well, thank my you. friend. Yeah. And okay. I want to I want to give a shout out to uh, Jocelyn Christina Hampton McPherson. Uh, I don't know who you are. Um, I don't know if you change your identity or you know I don't know if you're into acting or Michelle Wolf. I don't know who you are. But hold on, let me get you a picture. Hold on. Get this guy, the army guy. We want to get him over there too. Veteran, I see him. You speak so articulately yeah, and fast. Yeah. You know your you know your stuff. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, Who are these people you're shouting out oh, to no, say hello? Oh, uh, look at all. There's a traffic ticket you got to pay. Yeah, yeah, I do. Here's uh, Jocelyn, Christina Hampton. You know, I appreciate you. Uh, paid your your half of the debt. You know, I appreciate that. And no, I'm just Isn't playing. That nice? Yeah, yeah. She's uh, she's uh, I call her my rib. Okay. You know, we uh, we were gonna get married, but uh, I think she uh. 
Well, she's into Hollywood now or something like that. All right. Like one second, one second. Now you got a whole thing going on here. But you're just out for. A... Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, but, but, yeah. excuse me, sir, you are so involved with the technology, and yet, yeah, you have, well, this is from the 1890s, this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, To know, write down know, things on paper and. Yeah, yeah, amazing. I know, I know. Here, Jocelyn, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're looking at this, I still love you. Oh. You know, you know, you have, you have my heart, you you're know. You're a sentimental man. Yeah, yeah, you I still are. love you, you know. Okay. You but, uh. All right. Isn't yeah, that basically. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do engineering. Anybody want to know any? Uh, know how to invent the next Verizon, or anybody know want to know anything about Cisco systems, or mm -hmm. uh, eventually want to take their exam at uh, Passaic County Community College? It's only one hundred fifty dollars. Nothing so near oh. to take you so far. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm local. Be, yeah, we have to talk to this veteran here. Uh, okay. Hi, uh, hi to my mom. Hi, mom. Good all right. man. Good man. All right, man. All right. Take be care. Well. All right. Thank and, you so uh, much. All right. Okay. Take care. Right. And we're going to arm wrestle later. Me okay. and you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Come here. Okay, Let's step up. You, yes, you are a veteran of the United States, States Army. Army. You were in artillery. I see yes, that. Yes, right? I was in Desert Storm. Well, we thank you for your service to our thank country. You. Thank you. Do you yeah. come from military people? Was your father or My grandpa? father was in the Korean War. Oh, yeah. I see. And he's buried out there with the with a lot of veterans, oh. and I went after, I became, I follow his footsteps. Good for you. Are you from Hackensack here? I'm from Hackensack. You're not, you, so you re, you're, you're retired from the military? I'm retired from the military, but I still do, uh, I still get involved with a lot of military, uh, try to help out the homeless, Yeah. try to find some, for some of these uh, veterans, they they so strung out that they don't know that they got a lot of benefits in Burton County. So we go out there and reach out to them and direct them to the right place. Where this guy, the director of the um, the director of the Veterans Affairs, his name is AJ Lunes. He will help people. No homeless in in Bergen County. That's well, a sin for us. Mm -hmm. so, but they do have a, a military home in Bergen County. I think in Paramus, a soldier's home. Or right. Something. They have yeah. places where they and they have other places like like where I was. <clears throat> they put me out in uh, North Haven. The place is about an hour away from Pennsylvania. Right. They keep some uh, soldiers there, veterans. Some of them that uh, have uh, narcotics uh, problems, or you know that when they were in Vietnam, they got hooked nice. into heroin and all that. Where was your father from? My father from Puerto Rico. From from uh, Manatee, you know no, Manatee? No, he's from San Juan, Puerto Rico. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yeah, my mother's from Ponce. Ponce is the capital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. You know who was from Ponce? Orlando Cepeda. Oh yeah. I don't know if you ever heard, one of the greatest ball players. Let me tell you about the Puerto Ricans. They have fought tremendously for this country in every war from World War I in Definitely. disproportionate numbers. For such a small island, they, so many Puerto Rican men volunteered to fight for this country, as you says your father did in the Korea. Wow. Obviously, you're born here, right? But, born and raised. So, but, but the Puerto Ricans from the island really, and in this country as well, here, really uh, did their duty. No, and we're still doing our duty. Yeah. That's why, why we don't, that's why we don't need see other other let's put, let's put other people from other countries they get upset with Puerto Ricans because they can't understand why we don't need a green card to get in here. They you, they should know that we back up our, our country 100% no matter what. The you the, the red United white and blue that's, that's right. right. That's why we got our only star. You know, our Puerto Rican flag is just one star. I but see. we are part of the United States. If they call us to war, we're not, we're not gonna back up. We'll They've be always there. Been there, and we'll still be there. That's right. Even, now, even if I could go back to train others, I would do it. Good for you. And what about that that terrible uh, weather they went through down there, where the island was pretty much devastated, much Which of it. One with the, Puerto Rico, the big. Oh yeah. The, how, how are they doing the, from that now? Is it? Well, as far as I know, they they still struggling uh, with the light situation. They have fired a couple of companies. Uh, the governor. Uh, Governor Como went back over there and to go and check out what's going on to see what's, you know, what's mm -hmm. happening, why it's so much delay. So, and, you right know, now, right here, from not far from here, they sent the most food to Puerto Rico after that. Goya Foods. That's right. And you Goya, know that. Goya. Si well, es Goya, Goya tiene que ser bueno. bueno. <laughs> yeah, you better be I understand, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, we good. thank you for your service, Turkey. And we thank you, too, to okay. be out here and realizing that we still alive. Anything you want to say is about Puerto Rico, about the United States, about the United States Army? You, you know something? United States is my country, and I'll back it up to the death. And I got injured in the military, but still, I have, still have the knowledge 
that I could train others. I so, you know, I'm, this is my country. I'm a patriot. Born and raised here. I'm a Puerto Rican, but this is my country. Well, don't back up or you won't be anything in a second. No, no, this truck no, go no. by. That's okay because I'm he's, only joking with he's you. got money. I'll you're sue him. You're, you're, probably, <laughs> you're a tough guy. You probably knock the truck uh, I'll over. I'll sue him. Be well, my friend. All right, guys. Take okay. it easy. God bless. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Where is this going to be seen? He wants to get him. Delta. Well, we missed it again. How are you, my dear? How are you? Nice to see you. We're good. good are you to just see going you. for a nice ride up yes, and down we Main are. Street? And, and you have a gentleman with you. How are you, sir? Nice to see you. Nice That's my husband. You. We're big fan of fans of yours. Oh, uh, where are you we from around you. here? Saddlebrook. Oh, Saddlebrook. What can you tell 72 us about? Seventy-two years in Saddlebrook. It's, Seventy-two it's years. It's a good town. Yeah, and good I, I used to do a show for. I think it was St. Phillips. Is St. Phillips in? Yes, on Saddle River Road. Yeah, I did many shows for them uh, over the years. Oh, it's an honor yeah. to meet you. So what do you have I to say about show. Uncle Floyd? What can you say? Can you say three nice things about me? <laughs> you're a lot of fun. Okay, that's one. You're very kind. That's two. And you're handsome. Oh, don't stop there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, watch out, he's there. <laughs> oh, no. He's... I'm only teasing you. You be well, all right? Oh, you be well, too. Nice talking to you. Okay, like, honor. likewise. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Well, they got two out of three. How are you? Do you know who I am? No, I'm sorry. You ever hear of Uncle Floyd? No. All right, bye-bye. We got this guy does, though. I can see you. I watched you on TV. How are you? I'm very, very well. It's so nice to meet you, Uncle Floyd. You look like a man of high intellect, am I correct? Uh, no. No, you are, <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yes, you are. I hope so. What do you do? I'm an attorney. Oh, then you know. He's <laughs> be, then you listen to everything I say. I do. You guys I can't do. make any mistakes. Well, we try not to. I could tell 100 jokes if 20 don't go over to me, but you guys listen. Yeah. You practice criminal law? Or, uh, civil law. Civil law? Yeah. Here in town? Yes. Oh, good for you. Yes. What's going on? I see a lot of old getting knocked down, a lot of new big a buildings. Of, a lot of construction What's, here. Yeah. A lot this of apartment is... buildings, a lot of... Uh, uh, where the uh, record used to be. Yeah, that's all. They're, yeah. they're going to they're gonna start over there, I understand, too. Is this because of the proximity to New York City? The real would, estate I values are I, so high? I would think so. And you have the train service that goes yeah. to, uh, to Hoboken. And in so. a few years, or maybe eventually, when all these high rises are up, there'll be that many more people here. Yes. And the little mom and pop shops will thrive once again. Hopefully so. Yeah, is that Hopefully the plan, so. maybe? I hope so. <laughs> what can you say about Uncle Floyd? Anything in particular? I love Uncle Floyd. All right. Do you know there's a building over there that was built in 1875? You see that? Yeah. Sign is yeah, up there? Yeah. Yeah. This town has been. Did you know about Hack and Shank, the original founders of No. Uh, you no. You ever heard of they were no. Dutchmen? They came to the Meadowlands for the for the cedar trees and they destroyed the cedar forest and brought all the cedar back to Holland. And they called this Hack and, Hack and Shank. And then it, it morphed into it's Hack and Sack. Sack. You've heard that then, I guess. Anyway, good luck to you. Thank Let you me, so much. It was I, such a pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you as well. Good. Okay, Take have care. Have a nice day. You too. We're not going into this place. Hack and Shank, they won't believe it. They, yeah. they believe <laughs> if you If you say it with a thought. How are you, my man? Okay? Hello. I'm Uncle Floyd. We're just ask, asking people questions about Hack and You're a young man. It's not your fault you're young. Enjoy it. I'm not you, even from Hackensack. <laughs> where are you from? <laughs> I'm from? From from New York, Brooklyn. Oh, that's all right. Well, oh, anyway, yeah. have a nice day in Hackensack. I don't want to hold you up. All right, let's get this guy. Hello, sir. Don't go hide. Don't go. He went in here and he locked the door. What did you see? What he did? He saw me coming. He went back in here to hide. Oh, oh hey, me? Well, hey, no, hey. not you. Oh, okay, okay. Who's that guy? Come on over, say hello. We're looking for interesting people. We want to hear what's on your mind. This is your chance. Yeah, I'm Uncle Floyd from. Oh, they're, they're, they're maybe they're very busy. Let me go. Let me go. Okay. Do me, do me, do me. Okay, so check this out. Check this out, So there was a guy who looked just like you. We were just talking to him. So check this out. So you got seven layers of the internet, right? Seven layers of the internet. I'm going to talk about this because this okay, is all ahead. relevant. So seven layers of the internet. So um, the seven layers of the internet was invented by the OSI. It's called the OSI model, right? So the OSI model was invented by the ISO. The ISO was the International Standardization Organization, right? Okay. So they invented the OSI model. There are seven layers. There's application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, physical, right? That's what I then thought. Then the data goes across the medium, then it goes back up. From physical, data link, network, transport, 
um, session, correct? Uh, yeah. Presentation and application. So that's how data goes um, from you to me, right? Over the okay. internet. Now, um, uh, you may think to yourself, what are devices that function in these seven layers of the OSI? Well, a router functions at level three of the OSI model. A switch functions at level two of the OSI model. Now, let's say like you have an office building like like of this of, of this nature, right? You have your your, your boxes, right? Your PCs. Yes. You have the IP phones, and it's gonna run through the walls, right? And it's gonna go to a, a server room. Now, in that server room, you have a device that's called a chassis, right? Now, the chassis is approximately 19 inches apart. Now, the number one manufacturer of a device that's called a switch um, that's gonna fit into this chassis is called Cisco Systems. I thought so. Cisco Systems. Systems. Yeah. And what are the, the, the their product line? You have catalyst, the catal catalyst, C A T A L Y S T. And this is Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid, yes. I'm, I'm a Cisco. I'm a Cisco technician. I took an exam. Or oh, I'm digressing, but I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, no. This is good. Yeah, this is really interesting. It's like a vacation for me. Absolutely. So <laughs> Catalyst, right? So you have um, three different models of Catalyst switches. Actually, you have four. But the three main uh, main uh, models that I use are the 2960X. It's the 3750. It's the 3850. Correct. And um, those are the three main product uh, model numbers of the Catalyst switches. Um, you also have Nexus switches. Nexus switches are higher end switches. Um, you also have um, 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 switches um, from Cisco that are, 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 are called Meraki's. Meraki's, M-E-R-A-K-I. Now, Meraki yeah. is a company that Cisco acquired, correct? Meraki is a company that Cisco acquired. From Morocco. And Morocco um, no, not from no, Morocco. From... Morocco is a country in uh, in, 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 in Africa. Well, what is a macaroon? But Meraki, a macaroon? No, Meraki, M-E-R-A-K-I, oh. was, uh, was uh, developed by coders from MIT. And Meraki has a vision statement. <laughs> Meraki Meraki has a vision statement, and Meraki's vision statement is to offer light to those once left in the darkness. That's what to I'm, offer I'm light just to those that. once left in the darkness. Now, Meraki is a switch. You just put the switch in your wall, and it has four gigabit Ethernet ports, and it offers um, cloud computing. Yes, keep going. Yes, cloud computing. Um, I just want to yeah. say one thing to you. because Mar Meraki has 18,000 subscribers. Wow, but, yes. but when you said seven layer, I can't get out of my mind the seven layer cake. Well, can uh, you absolutely. tell me about the seven layer cake? Oh, you know what? I, I'm, not a, I'm not much of a chef. Uh, I, I, I don't cook. Um, but uh, You don't eat cake? Uh, I know yeah. you work out. Uh, I'm yeah, pretty yeah. healthy stuff. Uh, you know, uh, not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, but you listen, let me get back to the seven layers oh, yeah. of the internet. Uh, I know I'm digressing, but I'm going to come back. So you have seven layers of the internet. Um, also, you have uh, what are called bridge protocol data units, correct? So at each layer of the seven, at uh, each seven layers, you have a different bridge protocol data unit. Uh, they are at layer one, it's a, a bit. At layer two, it's a, a frame. At layer three, it's a packet. Uh, at layer four, it is called a... Uh, uh, a Smazgagov. No, 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 no. It's called uh, um, at layer four. I can't even think of what the it's called. The fourth layer. Uh, yeah, it's a it's quadron. A fourth layer. No, no, no. It's called uh, it's it's a it's a, a, a bit a frame a packet and a. Uh, something else i just can't think of it um and uh let me see let me see okay so um um the, the 802 standard where, where, no. is, where does hedy lamar fit in this henry, henry lamar hedy lamar hedy lamar that i do not know that hedy i do not know invented packet switch packet switching technology hedy lamar, hedy lamar. Hedy i'll take lamar. your word for it yeah i'll take your word for it no, it was helen helen hedy, bed hedy helen I'll bed take, you I'll know helen word. bed no no but let me talk about carrier sense multiple access with collision detection carrier <laughs> sense multiple <laughs> access with collision detection <laughs> and, and carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance now a switch right oh which wait is i have court. to talk to this lady just oh, one second okay one. absolutely yes um, how are you man you too cisco engineer william nice to see you nice thank you yes absolutely thank you for your comment yes now a switch correct a switch is a port correct now a a port um, that offers uh, uh, the technology that it uses is carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance, with collision detection, CSA, CSMACD. Now, what is that? Let's say if two cars pull out onto Main Street at the same time and they crash, right? Yes, so that's called uh, whiplash. Yes, that will be the equivalent of carrier sense multiple access with collision detection. Mm -hmm. Why? Because um, and that that particular algorithm will did uh, it, it issues what they call a, a like a back off algorithm where the frames when they come when they come into the medium and 
if they crash, that they would um, wait a certain amount of seconds to retransmit. And that's the whole concept of carrier since multiple axles with collision detection. And that is what a switch port uses. Now, when you're talking Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi doesn't use carrier sense multiple access with collision detection. That's what I was gonna Wi-Fi say. Wi-Fi uses carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance. You know why? Because theoretically, you could never detect the collision in the air. You and can't. You, Theoretically, well, you, you can't. We have, so, to um, we have to go. Though. No, hold on one second. It gets better. The 802 <laughs> standard. The 802 standard. What is the 802 standard? You see, in the second month of the year 1980, the IEEE uh, invented an entire body of standards to define networking. Correct? Um, it was the second month of the year 1980. Hence, mm -hmm. the 802 standard. There are different... Uh, uh, amendments or variations to the standard. 802.3 is Ethernet. 802.1X is port-based authentication. 802.5 is token ring, which is obsolete. 802.11 is Wi-Fi. There is an entire body of standards that is dedicated to Wi-Fi. Well, it's called the 802.11 standard, and there are different amendments to the standard. The, it's uh, it's uh, A, uh, B, G, N, and AC. A, B, G, and AC. You may think to yourself, what in the what world in the is world the difference? Is that? Yeah. What is the difference? I was just Dude, that. the difference is, 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 the, is the megabits per second. Wi-Fi is functions off the concept of radio frequency. If you take a rock but, and you drop it in a pond of water, but, you get ripples, ripples, uh, ripples. Now, the, listen, each ripple in Wi-Fi yeah. is called a concentric circle, but, right? When you get closer to the to the to the to the to the center to point, the center it's um, an 802.11a is 54 megabits per second, yeah. and then it degrades the uh, attenuation of the sig of the signal. 54 megabits per second. B is 11 megabits per second, the yeah. maximum. G is 54 megabits per second. Um, uh, uh, N is um, uh, uh, N has two bands, 72 megabits per second coming, and 300 megabits Somebody's per second. Somebody's calling me. Oh. We have to go, my friend. You, oh, you my should goodness. have your, be well. All right, we okay. gotta go. We're coming okay. to see you again. All right, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Be well. So, yeah. Uh, anybody want to know uh, how to make the next Verizon? You contact me. Yes. Um, you know, I do engineering. I teach engineering. Good for um, you. Um, you know. All right. You've been it. a delightful yeah. guest. Thank okay. you so much. All right. All right. All right. We'll see. Okay. All right. I got all that. 802 to me. It's the musician. Right. Musicians yeah. Union is 802. You just missed the lecture, my dear. How are you? How are you? you are a Libra, right? Yeah. You are born in October? Okay. I, I just... Uh, uh. This is a really good, this is a real good shop right here. Guys. Yeah, oh. This is really good. She does real good hair. She does yeah, hair? Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. No, my hair's home. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. This guy. <laughs> So, shop, where? Oh, no. What is this? How are you, my friend? Come on out and say hello. We're doing a thing about Hackensack and the people in Hackensack. I'm Uncle Floyd from TV. You look like two very... Um, Eccentric people. No, wonderful people. Come on out, both of you. Okay. It's, we're looking for interesting people. Okay. And I, how are you? you? Okay. Here. What's your name? Dennis. Dennis, are you from Hackensack? Yes. I see, and you are? Eric Martinez. From, uh, from, from Pagoda, but I, I, I reside here too, in a sense. You say Martinez or Martinez? Martinez. What's the proper way? Uh, depends on where you're coming from. That's right. Yeah. And what do you do, Dennis? I try to help out people in the Bergen County. That's very nice. He's security. Oh, you're a security yeah, man? Hackensack security. Keeps an eye on everything, everyone. They make yep. you guard important yeah. stuff like a you know, bank. All the police officers. Yeah. So he's well established in this neighborhood. And uh, you was with this Joker, old Joker. Oh yeah, you gotta check out the back. Oh wow. Are you really a? You know the he's Joker? a Joker fan. He, so oh, am I. You are. You like Batman? I love Batman. What could you tell me about Alfred from Batman? Alfred Pennyworth. Alfred, who took care of the car and yeah, got the butler. The butler. Yes. How come they don't talk about him anymore? Oh, they talk about him. They do. Not, as, not as much as Batman now. Batman, they talk about all the time. You're really into Batman. Did you watch the TV show as well? Or just I watched it when they when they first <laughs> brought out Batman and brought out Batgirl. Uh huh. When they brought out Batgirl and they started fading them out, that was yeah. That that, 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 was that, that TV show almost killed the comic industry. So yeah. yeah. So, well, I, I noticed that you were a secure. I knew you were a security man, oh, yeah, a time. man of authority of some kind. Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever given you trouble in your? They Not out them? here. They don't. Nobody messes with you. No. Is this your store here? Well, it's, it's co-owned. It's it's co-owned. Yeah. Wonderful. You got a little bit of everything in got, here. Oh, this is 
this is the place to be. What's going on in Hackensack? We see a lot of uh, things ripped down, a lot of new giant buildings going up. You well, got they, cranes over there? I think there. they're going to start building some condos. Yeah? You know? Is this good for the town, you think? Uh, I don't know. I guess it's... Uh, uh, it's you want it the for truth? my advice? The truth is it's time down. to get rid of... The, no. Looking to get rid of the riffraff and upgrade the neighborhood. But we have him to get rid of the riffraff. You, you told me you're a security man. Nobody messes with anybody around here. We, we don't want Koreans in this it's town, called, and that's what's coming into progress, this town. Right? Koreans. Progress? This is all progress. Well, well, thank you for your little visit here, okay? And get back to your security. Where do what you is all this ID on you? Why do you have to have all this? this so different. I can get into places? Oh, get into places? All right. Get out of places. And get out. Anyway, guys, have a nice day, okay? Right. When are you going to be filming? You know, when are you going to be gonna on TV? Well, This is just a rehearsal. We're coming here tomorrow again. Oh, okay? okay. All right. Just ask right, for Janice. Okay, guys, thanks for your hospitality. Yeah. How are you, my friends? We're looking for interesting people to talk to in Hackensack. What's going on over here? Do you know they ripped you know, the whole I was block just, down? I was just going to call my friend. He's the uh, development manager of the city of Hackensack, and he could have given you the 411 on the whole situation. Uh, it must be a high-rise going up. See that crane yeah, there? Yeah, like drilling. 12 stories, I think. A giant 12? pit of disappointment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah is it? But uh, what was there? We all little mom and pop businesses yeah, were there. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of a lot of more wrecks. But yeah. they're well behind schedule. But hopefully, one day we'll see it. Uh, you know. Well, eventually, their plan will probably work. If they put 12 stories here, they got eight stories going over there. Five stories. They put a story on top of that building over there. There's going to be more people down here and bring back the mom and pop businesses. Yeah, will thrive once that's, again. I think that's the that's the Is plan. Is that the idea? They think they're going to get gaps in Starbucks. They're dreaming. Where are you from originally? Hackensack? Yeah, I'm from Dumont. Dumont and you I'm are... from Waldwick in Burton County. I know Waldwick. I used to go to the Demartini Lumber Yard. You're probably sure, on that, Maple Street. And speaking of redevelopment, that's completely gone, and they built up a uh, big uh, apartment building there now. Yeah. So they wrecked that. Do you know the origin of the name Hackensack, where it came from? Um, I believe it came from, like, an Indian tribe. I'm not certain. No, no. they were Dutch. It was Hack and Schenk. The two explorers who, oh, okay. uh, in the Meadowlands, they took the cypress trees out and brought them back to Holland, uh, and then ah. called Hack, Hack and Shank, and then eventually it became, it morphed into Hack and Did you know that? No, no, no. Dumont and uh, Waldwick. Yes. Uh, Gateway City to Hohokus. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I guess know. So. Well, anyway, means thank a, you. A light in the woods, that's what it means. I really? Believe. Yes. Well, look at this guy. Oh, my. You're driving by ear. Okay. Guys, have a nice day. All right. We'll come back when the building's finished. All right. Good luck finding okay. more people. All right. We're going to try. We're definitely trying. How are you two? We're doing a story on the people of Hackensack. Would you like to partake in? Would you like to say anything? Can no, you? I don't live in Hackensack. You just work here. Oh, you just work there. Nobody wants to... We're not even going to go down that block. It's obviously nothing's going... Oh, police. All right, we're going to cross over. Well, not in front of the cop. We'll let the cop go first. All right. Let him go. Us Beauty Supply. Let's go get this guy out here. Hello, is Mr. Us here? Is Mr. Us here? No. Mr. It says Us Beauty Supply. US Beauty Supply. Who are, are you the owner? No, no. I'm oh, you here. want to say hello? We were talking to people in Hackensack today. The manager of the store up there. Who is? You have a store up there? Menadel, Menadel. Oh, Menadel. How are you, Menadel? Oh, hi, how are you, sir? Okay. Would you like to say something about your place? Oh, no, thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. Oh, all right. Okay, the owner's not here. Uh, oh, no, there's a, another lively street here. Anyway, <laughs> maybe it's me that they just run away when they see me. It seems to be the trend. I don't know. Okay. I guess all this will come down, too. Look at this. They don't even make these anymore. These things, the old timers used to make everything fancy. A little top for this. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice place to get grapefruit juice. Another empty store here. 
imagine. And another one here. So goes the story of, uh, of many, many a town we've visited and gone through. We are trying to find people, but not very successful today here in Hackensack, county seat of Bergen County, New Jersey. Where are you in here? Aaron's amazing. Adam, so, any comments? No comments. Got, um, got a lot of comments coming in. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe we'll hear a comment or two if we have one. No? Yeah, but we don't, isn't. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Waiting for Uncle Floyd to visit Red Bank from Kathy Marone. E oh. equals MC squared, says Nick Coldcastle. I don't know, that means some kind of a Q of some kind. Um, nobody, that, all right. Well, motto, thank you for making him laugh, for bringing on the smithereens. Hello, can you Hi, say, how are you? we're trying to find somebody, there's nobody in the town. It's like totally, totally, we've run into like five people. Are you from here? Is this your business? No. Oh, can, what can you tell us about Hackensack? I think it's great. I've worked here for 13 years. I work for a solo attorney, and I think they're doing a lot of improvements. Well, I see a lot of construction yes. going on. Yes, so hopefully it's, it'll it's bring a, some money and It's a city prosperity. in transition. Yes, it is. But this is the story everywhere we go, and we go around and visit cities in New Jersey. A lot of vacancies, a lot of buildings, a lot of people. But, the, but there's hope here because all these new high rises yes. are going to bring new people to yes. generate, help new businesses, right? They're going to spend money in town. So the, the outlook looks pretty optimistic. Yes. Yeah. Yes. For it being the county seat, it needed some help. Certainly. And it's on its way up, hopefully. So you, you think it's a good thing what's going on yes. right now as opposed yes. to... Yeah, they just knocked that whole block down over there, just below you. Yes, that's putting, been down for a while. That's been in transit uh, for a while. A 12-story residential. Yep. So that's going to be another maybe 1,000 people or 800 You should people. move here. Yes, maybe I will. Thank you, dear. Have a great day. Okay, bye-bye. you got to pull them out of the stores. At all. Hi. Yeah, bring them out. Oh, it's you again. It's you, my friend, the veteran. How are you, people? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's all right. We don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable. Okay, that's. We try. We try. How are you? I. Why not? Oh well. Why haven't I you? I don't get out much. <laughs> but you're so cheerful and so uh, full of life and happiness and oh, positive energy. Thank what you. do you do? Uh, legal secretary. Legal secretary. This is a lot of law guys around. It our is business a lot law of law firms. guys, right? Well, they take care of all that in the county seat, right? Uh, yeah, they do. And Have you been in Hackensack a long time, or forever? You born and raised here? N well, not in the city of Hackensack. I'm from Lodi, but uh, okay. I've been working in Hackensack since '64. Well, we've noticed as we've gone down, they've ripped down a few blocks. A lot of big high rises are going up. A yeah. lot of big money buildings. I mean, you've got to admire that. There's life coming back. And, yeah, I and like that. They're trying to bring it back, yeah, and I doing. hope it works. We do too, certainly. So uh, more people will be coming here and then spending money on the street and bringing it back. That, that would be good. That's good. That would be good. Well, anyway, nice to see you. Nice to see okay. you again. Yes. <laughs> Did you think I was this tall and romantic looking? <laughs> You always are. You always okay. are. Okay. I'm wait a minute. Yeah, come over here. Well, we'll wait for you out here. Look at these guys. We're coming over. I want to get that guy with the hat. I want to talk to you about something. You're one of the, the other guy, too. Come here. Look at this guy. You look very interesting. Uh, you don't remember me, right? I, I remember this I was with, with Phil Stanicola. Angelo. Yeah, my goodness. Wait, I want to talk to you. Hold on. You're, hey, talk to him. I got to go. Oh, the uh, then come back out, all right? I got to go. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm good, you. You look like a very interesting man, a I'm man not. of stories. No stories. You're not a man of stories? No. Let me tell you, if John Wayne came to this town right now, mm. he'd hire you like that. You, you have a very interesting look about you. Are you from Hackensack? 
Not generally, no. No, not generally? No. Anyway, what do you have to say about this town? What can you tell us about Hackensack? I have no complaints. No complaints? No. Are you working or are you retired? Or? I'm supposed to be retired. Now you're working on my brain. Uh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Were you up there at the record store? <laughs> yeah, did you see us? Yeah, the guy holds on to vinyl, well, yeah. What are like you following vocal. us around? I don't know, you follow me <laughs> Oh, that's a good comeback. <laughs> very good. Huh. Sir, would you like to say hello? You look like a very man, a, a very intelligent man. Can you tell me something? I don't know. <laughs> well, you'll find out. Do right. uh, you know who I am? Uncle yes, Uncle Floyd. That's right. And where are you from? I'm from Hackensack originally. What can you tell us? What's going on in this town? A lot what do you of, mean? Well, I see a lot of uh, life coming back. They're yeah, they're, they're going to rebuild the whole the Main whole, Street. Yeah. yeah, sure. They knocked that whole block down, and someone told me they're putting a 12-story building there. I guess so. Are you from Hackensack a long time? Well, I was born and raised here. Yeah, so I live in Kearney right now, but I was born and raised here. Are you a Scotty? You know what that means? No. A Scot? No, from Scotland. No, no, I'm Italian. I'm... Oh, do you remember Teddy's Cocktail Lounge? Teddy's Cocktail Lounge on, on Ridge Road. In Car I worked there for years. No, I don't remember that. Well. In what town? In Kearney itself, across the street from the park. Oh, maybe it's not there anymore. No, no, it's gone. Oh, okay. But I've only been in Kearney about a year. Oh, oh that's nothing. A year and a half. Come by, where are you going to go? You got to go put. You don't want to talk to me? <laughs> I want to talk to you about Phil Senecola. He's in, well, excuse me, just one second. I'll be right back, okay? What's Don't let him. Name My name is Floyd. Yeah, I gotta go. Why do you have this? It's your big mom. Give my. I don't, re want, I don't want to talk. That's all right. Phil Senecola's in Florida right now. Oh. All right. Your jacket's all okay, bye bye. That's that? Your jacket's all What are you, a tailor? No, no. Oh, you're right. It's ripped up because somebody. Get a new jacket. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. You all almost right? look like you're homeless or something. Me? Yeah, but What do you know about homeless guys? <laughs> I was almost one myself. What happened? Why? You look like a very intelligent man. My first wife threw me out of the house. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, you're not the happened. only one that's happened yeah, to. That's right. You said you're first, so you had a second then? Yes, yes. She threw you out of the house no, too? No, she passed away. So. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But, uh, my first wife threw me out of the house several times. Mm -hmm. And I'm out there in the cold up in Pennsylvania, freezing my ass off. And uh, had no place to go. Yeah. There you go. It's a story I've heard from many men, but you're a survivor, I see. You, I guess so. You kept going, I'm right? I'm still here. I'm still alive. All right. You keep going, my friend. You too, Floyd. Okay. Take care. Come over here. I have to talk to you. Do you know anything about Hackensack, New Jersey? I'm not originally from Hackensack, but I know a lot. I've been here more than 20 years. Well, you have a Brooklyn accent. Are you from Brooklyn originally? Bronx. The Bronx. I wasn't too far away. <laughs> Are you no. from by East Tremont Avenue around there? No, more to the south. 152nd Street, Morris 149 Avenue? 149 and Jackson. Ah, I got a hundred. I was three blocks away, see? But the hospital is Lincoln. Yeah. Mm. You know where St. Barnabas Hospital is? No. Kingsbridge Hospital? I heard. Kingsbridge is a big veterans hospital in the Bronx. Yeah. Uh, those what are my you, brothers. What do you do? Certified home health aid. Oh, good for you. So you go to people's houses and help elderly people or people that are, have a problem, medical condition, and they need help? Facilities, nursing home, all over. How do you find most people? You, you put your, you're helping people in all different kinds of positions. What would you say about humanity, about people in general? Well, basically, if you're nice to people, they will be nice to you. But you have to be careful what you tell people because sometimes they get offended by, by a little thing that you don't even mean. So you have to know how to treat people and able to get a good response. Well, when you first encounter a, a patient or a client, whatever word you use, someone who needs your, your help, can you tell if they're going to be a problem or if they're going to be, you know, let's listen to you and if, can you feel that? Can you sense that? Yeah. Basically, not the first conversation, but by the second visit or third, you would know. Yeah. Mm hmm Is that Malta Schaefer you're drinking, they used to call? Yes. Malta Schaefer. I don't drink this every time, but... Well, that's okay. Uh-huh. They were one of my big sponsors on, on TV years ago. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you never heard of Uncle Floyd? You never watched the Uncle Floyd show? Um, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. That's an old show? Well, not From the when it's 50s? No. Close enough. How old do you think I am? You, um, 60. Thank you very much. 
Oh, 55. Oh, keep going lower. <laughs> no, thank you so much. And, and one, you do wonderful things for people. I hope people thank you. Are you concerned about the river? What's the problem with the river? Pollution. They need to fix it a little more, take care of the pollution. Well, they're not allowed to disturb the bottom of the rivers. Years ago, they dug out the muck and got rid of it. But now the EPA won't let them do that. So the rivers are getting higher, more polluted. Uh, I saw the other day, you're not going to believe this, uh, a turtle came out of the river and went, <laughs> Oh, my God. It was coughing. The oh. turtle was coughing. That's what I'm saying. Need to prevent that pollution. What caused all this pollution, do you think? The air, people throw things in the river, yeah. germs, whatever, dead, dead animals inside the river could be. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you so much. You've been a delightful guest here. Uh -huh. Anything else you want to say? It's your chance to address America and the whole world right now. Well, people should be more compassionate if they take care of people, regardless if they don't or do, and the river should be improved. Oh, very well said, okay? Okay. You keep up the good work, my friend. Is coming on TV? Oh, yeah. They'll tell oh, you right there, okay? He's got all that information is right on that card there. Oh. We have a... Uh... Hello, would you like to say hello, my friends? Hola, amigo. Want to say hello? What's that? You want to be on? Watch out. Watch out. Oh, they run away. Okay, we're going to head back up. I think we're going to start. We're going to cross over and head back up. We got to get back to the starting point. I think, watch your step. We're going to... Go right back here. Oh, wagons ho! Wagons ho! Look at her. She's walking faster and faster away from us. I can't keep up with her. It's amazing how fast people walk when they see me. When they see you, yeah. They turn into sprinters. Yep. All right. Here come some interesting people. Guy looks like he's in a uniform of some kind. Hello, my friends. We're talking to people in Hackensack. Would you like to say anything? Okay. No, thank you. So, all right. Here come two more. Maybe we'll get get something. Hello, my friends. We're interviewing people about Hackensack. Can you tell us anything about Hackensack? It's beautiful. Nothing. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. All right. Well, that, that says it all. Very friendly, too. Adam, you have anything here? Let's see. Uh... Nope. You guys are done. Go to Jerry's. Jerry's. They want us to go to Jerry's. Yeah. You got to drive over there. It can't be done. It, it, it's well, not around here. Jerry, who's ready? Probably. <laughs> Hi, can you tell us anything about Hackensack? The same too. Oh, you were back here. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe you had twins. I don't know. Erica Jackson says, Yeah. Floyd, no one wants to chat. Nobody. There's, well, there's nobody around. It's, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hello. Anybody here? No, they're getting ready to re-gentrify. Do you have anything you want to ask the people? No, nothing at all. I don't, what would I ask an audience? Well, I've never asked an audience a question in my life. But they never ask me. to go next. How about that? Well, we... It's all what's near us where we can get to. The problem with New Jersey is it takes four hours sometimes to go 30 yeah. miles. That's the big problem. To do something... Uh, to get to where I live in Passaic County, to get to Ocean County, in the morning you'd have to leave at 5.30 in the morning to get there. Yeah. There's no other way. How are you? We're trying to find people to talk to in Hackensack. What'd you do with Looney? Looney? <laughs> How are you, gentlemen? You look like you're intelligent men. You can tell us something about what's going on in this town. No? All right. Play it safe. All right.
I don't know where this guy Jerry is, this Italian deli. This is a big city of no, almost 40,000 40, people. Yeah. My friend, do you know where Jerry's Italian deli is? No, I Jerry. don't know it's, uh, it's Italian You don't deli know Italian is. deli? We're trying to find Jerry's. It's, well, thank you anyway. You're welcome. Okay. Do you know where Jerry's Italian Deli is? Jerry's Italian Deli. There used to be a Jerry's Deli down at the North End, but they're not there anymore. Jerry with the G. I'm not sure if it's Jerry with a G. With a J. Well, Jerry is spelled with a J. Well, there's a great Italian Deli right here, V and T. If you're looking for for good Italian food, no, and they're we're, open. We're doing a story on Hackensack, and they keep telling us to go to Jerry's Italian Deli, Jerry's and we. Superman. Jerry supermarket. Oh, this is a supermarket. Uh, well, anyway, thank you for your. Are you from Hackensack? I am. What do you think about what's going on in this city here? I'm very impressed, but I'm biased because I'm the director of redevelopment for the city. Well, the, but the, what I see is I make jokes about everything, but I yeah. see life coming back here. There is. I see a future here. I mean, we joke about things, but you go around, but I see these big high rises coming. That's only going to bring people and jobs. It's going to bring and, people, and it's going to make the street even more crowded than it is right now. Well, it should be, because there's a lot of unique people here and architecture and things and, and history here. There is, quite a bit. So you really love the town, then. I do. You been here my to. whole life. Good for you. We need people like you in this country. Thank you so much. I appreciate to, that. To save our cities and bring them back to life even more. Yeah. It is, you know, nothing more permanent than change, right? Uh, that's, right. that's true. That, that's, that's true. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, I, I, and I'm a big fan, and I'm thanks. glad to see you here. And this only adds to what we're trying to do. So, Well, I admire welcome. you guys didn't give up. You didn't surrender yet. No, and a lot of no. towns, you go into, I better go all over the, I go into Midwest, forget about it. Yeah. Just, the Rust Belt, for sure. Yeah. Uh, just whole towns have disappeared and, and rusted away. But here, Although you could see it's in transition right now, it's a positive ending coming. It is. Right? Long right. time coming. And Good. we're glad to be, be making this kind of progress. And what is the big attraction to this town? I know the location is a big part of it. Yeah. You're very close to New York City. Yeah. You Proximity get... to the city, sure. It's a lot sure. to do with it. But, you know, it's also, there's a sense of place here. You know, you see some of the old architecture. And I think when when people come here, they, they there's a sense that... Um, this place has been here for a while and it's rooted in history, so I think that's an attraction. But certainly proximity to the city and proximity to area malls and, and mass transportation and, you know, your stone's throw from upstate New York and your stone's throw from downtown Manhattan. So location, 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 really. Well, I hate to say it's almost 50 years ago, I used to bring my grandparents to, they called it Little Italy, Hudson Street. Yeah, down yeah. there was all yeah. Italian stores, and yeah. there's a few uh, left there, but they, few. all the way from Patterson, the Italians came to Hackensack. That's right. The Hackensack pastry shop is still there. It's still there. All those wonderful stores, Costa Brothers. and Costa Brothers left, yeah. but that was, that, that was one of, yeah, well, Faschini's Bakery. Yeah, yeah all these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was well known in every little aspect of New Jerseyana. People like it here. They leave, and then they come back. Yeah. Whenever someone says they're moving, I'll say, you'll be back and they come back and do you know about the, the name Hackensack how it arrived yeah it's a long story but it's a it's a, um, a Lenape uh, Native American term that means something like where many different bodies of water converge where many okay. different ri rivers or tributaries converge so it's rooted in, in, in water so it's not about the two Dutchmen Hank and, and Shank um, not as far as I know, but but that's a that's an interesting that's interpretation. That's a story well. I've always heard. Yeah. Well, they were from Holland, and this was all part of New Amsterdam, Hank and Shank. Right. And they uh, deforested the meadowlands. They took all the cypress trees out. Yeah. Brought them back to Europe, and thus Hank and Shank became eventually Hackensack. Sack. But I don't know if there's any truth. No, to you don't not, think not, so? not 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 what I got. But that's as interesting uh, um, well, a history as any. You're too nice of a man. If you want to see I made some, that up. Yeah, I just okay. Made that yeah, that, that, I that's can't a, help it, it. I can't help it. Yeah, yeah. If we, there, there's a game. I forget what it is, but you try to Boulder Dash. If oh. we were playing Boulder Dash, I'd want you on my side. Okay. Because that sounded very plausible. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hey, sir. good luck with your redevelop. I hope the government's helping out. Oh, they... absolutely. Yeah, the, the city and we're we're, we're getting cooperation good. from the business community, and it's all hands on deck. It's all uphill from here. It right? is. Okay, be well. Good you luck. You too. Good seeing you. Okay. Thank you. Well, let's see. That's it. I can joke about things, but they're doing something positive here. Well, yeah. Here's a tip we were just talking about. Here's a block that came down, or part of a block, and they're they're building. Look, all of this. Here he is. What's that? You don't want to talk. All right. You don't have to talk. How are you, people? Did you come to Hackensack for your honeymoon? Ah, how are you? Good, I'm Uncle Floyd. We're doing a story on Hackensack. Anything to say? What can you tell us about Hackensack? Oh, no, that's a very nice place. Very nice place. You're not on your honeymoon? 
Where is she hiding yeah, from? Yeah, it's soon. Huh? Soon. She's uh -oh. cute. Look at that. I broke up another romance. Okay. Thank you. Okay, bless, my friend. Can I just have a picture? Sure, you can have a picture. This is great, right in front of this. Yeah. Thank All you. All right. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Okay, my friend. Bye -bye. All right. My goodness. Yeah, look at this. Nice. It is. Yeah. Nice apartments, a couple of stores. Wow. Where are you from originally? Oh, Peru. Peru? Peru. You know what I buy from Peru? Who? The olives. Oh, yeah. The purple olives. Right. They come uh, Inca, the brand. You know You're them? Right. You're right, yep. And I save the juice and drink it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Very yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. In Patterson, they have Peru Square. Oh, yeah, right. Cuantos, todos uh, peruanos in, in Patterson, yeah. Well, we can't really see this, but uh, this is the future coming right here. As a matter of fact, we see people working now. <laughs> Hello, my friend. How are you? Hola. How are you? Okay. Very busy. They're very, the workmen are very busy. They, there's a way over this way. Does anybody want to talk to us? Oh, that's you. I met, ran into you. You're sorry. You're doing a nice job here. Any free samples? Hola, amigo. Que tal, amigo? Que tal? Okay, hasta luego. What is this place? This is just a... Oh, they got the Gorilla Glue in there. <laughs> they you see this is how you get things done in towns the sunrise Look they fixed that. it because I told them and it's true you never put a U upside down it brings bad that's a horseshoe yeah. upside down is bad luck I can't believe that they I'm actually missing the I but they fixed the U well Oriental you know and the products is missing another U yeah. but still <laughs> It's just a vowel issue. They have a it's a vowel issue, and they took my advice. See, I get things done. I, sh I, I should go around and be a, a, a New Jersey uh, improver man or whatever. How's everybody over here? Good, good. We're you know about the barbershop? We're from the, no? No, the audience not no, no. The, the owner's owner, not here. The owner's not here? Okay, bye-bye. I think they distrust me or they feel threatened somehow. Watch this. <laughs> well, we had a nice day. Well, we had a few more people than our last adventure, but we found six on the street. Here comes a man coming down. See, this will all be changed in 10 years. There'll be thousands of people walking around these high rises. They turned them away. They turn away when they see. Okay, we'll get them. How are you? We're doing a story on Hackensack today. Uh, uh. <laughs> Hi. Hello. We're doing a story on the people of Hackensack. Would you like to say hello? Hello, everybody. What can you tell me about this wonderful oh, city? Oh, Hackensack is the best town so far right now. I live in Tinnet for 30 years. And uh, Hackensack is wonderful. I like the people. I like the restaurants. The community is very... Very good. Very friendly. Very, <laughs> very friendly. friendly, exactly. And where are you from originally? May I... Original and Colombian. Colombia. Oh, yeah. A lot of Colombian people around A lot here. of Colombian. Peruano, Spanish... Peru. Per from Peru, from, uh, yeah. What about Italia? Italia. Soon I'm going to be in Italy. You're I'm leaving to, to Europe next week. Yeah, Sunday. You look Italian. <laughs> look like... No, a lot of Italians went to South America. Yeah, yeah, oh, I, I have family in Brazil. 
Uruguay, Paraguay, and uh, Venezuela. And Argentina, too. Oh, Argentina, a forget it. Half, yes, half yes. the people are Italian over there. Yes. Well, nice to see you. You look like a movie star. What do you do? I'm uh, work for the Marriott's Hotel. Well, good for you. I'm a hostess oh. there, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, sir, we want to talk to you. Sure. You look like a man who knows what's going on. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Have, a... Have a nice day. Thank you. I'm Uncle Floyd. We're doing this. And I know you. I remember you from years ago. From How many years ago? Oh, boy. I'm, what, 40, in my 40s now? So, yeah, You're it's been 40? a while. It's I been a while. washed up when you were born. Oh, Jesus. But what the... What do you do in Hackensack? Um, right now, I'm actually was just going to get some copies and stuff like that You're on from my Hackensack? day off. No, actually from Teaneck, next town over. Yeah. What do you think about all this changing in the town? It's in transition now. I mean, high it, rises are going up. The little blocks are being knocked down. Sometimes. I mean, obviously, from what it was before, you know, there wasn't too much action mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It might bring, you know, hopefully, it brings more business yeah. to here. Mm -hmm. You know, which also will benefit the towns around. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. You know the Cedar Lane Theater in uh, Teaneck? Yes, I do. Have yes, you ever I seen do. me when I did my shows there? No, mm -hmm. I actually uh, moved there two years ago. From where? Uh, originally from Palisades Park. Oh, my goodness. Next Anderson Avenue? No, um, you're thinking Cliffside Park. But oh, I know that's Cliffside Park. Yeah, 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 Palisades Park has Broad Avenue. Oh, Broad, right. Yeah. You remember Palisades Amusement Park? No, right? actually, my parents, though, uh, there was that was their first date before they got uh, obviously married afterwards. The commercial was, ride the coaster, get cool in yep. the waves, in the <laughs> pool, you'll have fun. So come on over. 35 cents to get in. A big and there was also a song by Freddie Cannon from that. Oh, yeah. Palisades, Palisades Park. Amusement Park. And uh, anyway, nice seeing you. Anything nice to else to too. say to us? No, that's pretty much it. Thank okay, you very much. Okay, thank you for spending right, some enjoy. time with us. How are you? Why do you want to get a picture of this? No, oh, for your barber shop. Yeah, e el gusto es mío. I want to one. Uh, what is in this barber shop? I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. Why, why, why? why I come in here for a haircut? Look what they did to me. Oh my God! No, no. Oh yes. Nice trim and nice haircut. Let me go to bed with the ad. <laughs> They said, they said, oh, they're going to give me a nice trim and fix it up. How are you, Jamie? Good, good, good. You are a barber and you work here and these yeah, are your friends? Yeah, this is my shop, yeah. This is your shop? Yes, Beautiful yes. shop. Yeah, thank you, thank you You do much. men and women, right? Yes, and that's correct, yes. Too? yes. Yes, Well, we're doing, we're doing a thing called Uncle Floyd's New Jersey, saying hello to people. Oh, yes. Where, yeah. where are you from originally? Uh, from Ecuador, South America. Ecuador. Well, yeah. we, most of the people we met are from Peru and Colombia over here. Yes, yes, a lot of, like, uh, popular here from Ecuador. To see Ecuadoriano. <laughs> Ecuadoriano, si, correcto, that's, yes. Well, yes. thank you so much. We got to get this man on the street okay, here. Okay. Excuse me, my friend. I've been looking for you all day. We're doing a thing called Uncle Floyd's New Jersey. Just turn around here. We just want to get... What can you tell us about the city of Hackensack? It's all right. What do you think about all this redevelopment and the new buildings going up? And I think they're, they're overdoing it. You Go ahead. Talk about whatever you... Are you from Hackensack a long time? Yeah. Yeah? So you think it's uh, going to change the whole fabric of the city? or? It might. Well... Then you look very busy, so I'll let you go, okay? Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Hasta luego, amigos. Hasta luego, amigos. Okay, bye-bye. 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 When we were kids, we used to just see signs like this and, like, erase the eight. And then go in and say, I want the patata for 40 cents. And <laughs> we don't, no kids don't do that anymore. All right. Oh, we got somebody coming down the street here. Help wanted. We got one, another person. Look at this here. Another one for rent. Hello, my friend. We're doing a story of the people of Hackensack. I'm Uncle Floyd. I'm you look you look like a movie star. What is where are you from? I'm from Englewood originally. Englewood, and, and you come down here to shop and carry yes, them? Yes, do my nails. <laughs> what do you think of this city? It's in transition. A lot of new high-rises are going up. Yeah, and... I actually work at the hospital. So oh, you I'm do? Really are you in a nurse or the yes, bookkeeper? Yes, I'm a nurse. Yeah. You're a nurse. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Yeah. Does anybody thank you for being a nurse? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah. Do they bring you um, things like when the patient goes home, like cookies or something? Oh, yeah, all the time, like bagels, donuts, all the unhealthy foods. Bagels, food. I'm going to say, this yeah. is what nurses say. <laughs> Cut down on your bagels, donuts, yeah. and cookies. And when patients get fixed up and you take care of them, they, they bring you that. Yeah. How long have you been a nurse? Uh, seven years. Is there still a shortage of nurses? Mm, I, I hear that, but I don't think so. No. 
good for you. Well, yeah. keep up the good work. Thank you. People really appreciate what you do. Thank you. They only thank you when they need you, though, right? Oh, no. We well, you're very time. modest. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Well, we're heading out uh, up the road. We've only got about eight minutes. Oh, we only have eight minutes. Open up for questions. Yeah, sure. Let, if they have a question, I'll, I'll answer anything. Now's their chance. We only have eight minutes to go here or so. We travel around. We go to towns. We look for people to talk to. It gets harder and harder to do that, but we do open the lines up for communication if anybody has a question. People are watching on Be Terrific and they're watching on Twitch. My friend, how are you? I can't, we're talking Facebook. about the people of Hackensack. I'm not from here. Sorry. Where are you from? Filipino, yeah. Filipino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What does this mean? Nalala kita pag. It's the lyrics of a popular uh, song in the oh. Philippines. It's Tagalog. Yeah, it's Tagalog. Listen, my son was in the United States Army 11 years, and when he went to the Philippines, they treated the Americans the best over there. The Filipinos are the best. They are the gave this. American soldiers were treated like kings over there. Yeah. So we're I like that. You are good. We're very hospitable. You are. Yeah. Okay. Be well. Okay. Okay. Look at this crew here. How are you? What do you guys do? Um, work. Enjoying the weather. Yeah. Yeah, you're young. You're young. How old are you guys? You teenagers? Just yeah. turned 18. Oh, it's not your fault. Yeah. Don't ever be ashamed of being young. Yeah. So what I do like you do? Hat. What is this? Thank you. What is this? You do that? You go yeah, on there? Yeah. You want to see a trick? Yeah. Sure. You got yeah. room here. Yeah. I got you okay. Some room, bro. All right. All right. You with him? You all together? Yeah. Look at this. Whoa! Oh, holy damn. mackerel! Yeah, I can't do and that. And he's doing that on a, that's not the best surface to do yeah, that on. It's, not, it's kind of bumpy and. So like, what yeah, bump, wrong, this bro. was a very popular thing a while back. It seems to be coming. Is it coming back? Yeah, it's coming I mean, back. like 20 years ago. It's making a comeback. I'm not trend, so I'm like, uh, I mean, it's just like hop off. Yeah, it's terrific. And you do it? All three of you do it? Yeah, no, I do it. I do it on bike. Oh, you're doing it on a bike? Yeah, you'd be backflipping on yeah. the bikes. Well, then someday maybe a car. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> I see people doing wheelies with cars in Dubai. Yeah, he does wheelies with motorcycles. Yeah. You do? Where do you go? To special places to do that? Nah, he just does it on the street. He just like... Yeah, like, wait you, till it's late. You'll see him. Like, yeah, you'll see him just riding. Well, I see on TV a lot of times young guys <laughs> like you. They out in Utah or California where there's a lot of land. Yeah. And there's all kinds yeah. of hills and they could just go there and do I, it. I was just in Pennsylvania. That was good. That was a good yeah. place. Yeah. Long roads. In Pencil Did you ever hear of a town in Pennsylvania called he, him? No. Years ago, it was her, she. <laughs> See, they don't laugh at my jokes. <laughs> okay, you know who I am? You never, never saw. I, they call me Uncle Floyd. I had a TV show in New Jersey years and years ago. Bro. You look like a Marine. Are you in the Army? No. No, you're not. I'm a, just 17. You're just 17? Yeah. And you do the skateboard, too? Yeah, I do how, them bike. I do them bike. And how much do these cost, roughly, these? Around 100. Really? Yeah. That's kind of like not beat up, but you just put some miles on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long do they last? Mm, like three months, four months. And then you beat them up that much? Yeah, ones? then I, I beat them up. Like. But can't they be repaired or fixed or not really? Nah, because I just be beating them up. Like. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your time with us. Okay, uh, guys? Uh, thank you. Buddy. Stay Pound young. It. Good luck. Pound it. Okay. All right. Thanks, Stay well. Well, we ran into them. I know we're really running out of time, so we did give the audience a chance if they had anything to ask, they more than welcome to. In my, when I do my nightclub act too, I, I, a lot of entertainers go on the stage and the audience has a million questions. For me, I never get one, not one, but that's all right. Well, at least the meter maids are not by our cars right now. Another big building going up over there. I don't know if we got a shot of that, but boy, that's a big one. The whole block. All right. Oh, yeah, we're getting close. Anyway, we thank you for joining us. I'm not getting a countdown yet, but we thank you. Last call for questions, if anybody had a question. <laughs> Then I go home and my phone machine is all clogged up with questions. But now was your time. And now here they come. The town is out in full force right now. What happened to their bodies? <laughs> How are you? Can you tell us anything about Hackensack? No. How are you? Do you know who I am? No. <laughs> How are you? Would you like to ask me a question? No, no, thank you. Okay. So,
this should dispel the myth that I'm Mr. New Jersey. <laughs> I've said at most 1% of the people know who I am in this state. Of course, most of the people in the state have only been here in the last 20 years, 50%. But anyway, well, that's... They want to know where you're going next. We don't know yet, right? It depends on the weather. It's as simple as that. If it rains, we change things around. We're leaving Hackensack now. Do you have anything to say? No? We're leaving Hackensack. We're leaving... Hold on. We're leaving Hackensack. I'm sorry to bother you. We're leaving Hackensack. Do you have anything to say? Nothing? Okay. All right. All right. Well, oh, these kids are back. <laughs> That's it. Well, I think it's time, is it not? To, is it's it's like it's 12 noon. It is um, 159. We've got one minute left. Oh, <laughs> and look who's coming up the street. Our friends with the skateboards. Well, this is it. We did we, we did our little visit to Hackensack, New Jersey. Again, we, we offer you a chance to ask questions if you like. Hey, uh, now it's getting a little too late. Yeah. You want to know how old was the hat? Probably 1974, 75. They don't make them anymore. But anyway, we enjoyed this sunny day. At least it's not raining. And we don't know where we're going. We have a lot of places. We have a lot of people calling us. We we'll be where. back next week, we hope and uh, to bring you somewhere else in New Jersey. This was Hackensack, New Jersey, the county seat of Bergen County, about seven and a half miles west of the George Washington Bridge. About 40,000 people live here, most of them very close to New York, and there's a lot of fire trucks going by. Maybe they, they know I'm here, and it's a parade in my honor or something. And if you came in late, watch us on Be Terrific. Yeah, tell them about that. If you came in late, you can watch this on Be Terrific. Watch from the beginning. You can catch it on Facebook or go to Twitch and look for Be Terrific on Twitch. And they can get the yeah. other shows. Are yeah. they banked? This is show number four. We have Patterson, Glen Rock, and Bloomfield. Number four is Hackensack. That's is it. Two hours each, so that's eight hours worth of... That's a whole day. That's more than some of my wives stayed with me. Eight hours. Hello, are you, Mr. Venice? How do you know me? I know you. Yeah? Where from? Come te chiamo lei? Pietro. Pietro, de che parte venite? Provincia di Avellino. Avellino, conosci a Mondega e Salerno? Sì. Agropoli, Salerno? Sì, come no. Oh. Nice to see you. Sì, I thought maybe you were from Venezia. No. Avellino. Buona cosa, paesano. Ciao. All right. Well, it's got to be 12 noon now. We want to thank everybody for... It, it's what? I'm at 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Oh, <laughs> 2 o'clock. But uh, we thank you all until next time. We hope to run into you as we call... Uh, we, we put the cameras on and go to Uncle Floyd's New Jersey. <laughs>